Ah, uh, very good. Hello to everybody who is currently watching the VOD, since nobody will be here yet. How was your day today? I need to make sure my keyboard isn't too um, rattly. <coughs> So I'm probably going to wait five or so minutes for people to join and then I'll just get started with playing the games. We'll see how it goes. I should have them all downloaded here. I think there's 26. Hello, Hansis. How are you doing? I can't remember how many games there were last time. I think I think there was there's more now than there were last time. Or maybe Halloween was quite a big one. And it was actually summer where there weren't that many. I can't remember. Um but if I recall correctly there are 26 this time around so hopefully we'll be able to get through all of them in like f four or five hours I don't know I need to check my audio in like f four or five hours I don't know it's a little quiet I need to check my audio I like four Five hours, I don't know. Up that a, a little bit. quiet. Check my audio Thank like So yeah, I'll just wait a few more minutes for uh, anyone to show up. Uh, not sure what to play first. I can't remember if someone posted in the um, Discord. Let me check. If anyone has any recommendations, by the way, uh, just slap them in chat. Uh, YouTube chat, not Discord chat. I'm not going to be checking Discord once this starts.
Okay, it's five past. I'll just start now. So, I think all the games are they're in alphabetical order. So I guess I will start with the first one. Atomic, con I spelt it wrong. I supposed to be atomic convection, but I I I have misspelt it. I've messed up everything already. This the stream is ruined. Now I have played all these games just to test that they work as usual but I don't really know anything beyond that and also I forgot to turn off my overlay fool that I am there we go oh everyone's in the chat now hello McNeeps hello donut I've just started uh, playing now this background effect I'm gonna assume that's just like a bunch of um, frames that have been pre-rendered but if that's done in oh it's got um zen gl that's probably how it's done it looks quite nice the little spiral move the mouse to avoid falling elements and collect power-ups don't move too much or too little or risk overheat or freeze and the atmospheric temperature will affect the heating cooling rate okay all right okay so I guess I need to wiggle around while avoiding the debris. But not too much. By the way, how is my audio? because I need people to let me know if I mess that up. Same with the uh, jam description as well. The stream description, sorry. Um, I have a tendency to mess that up. I'll probably need to go through and um, adjust the noise gate for my keyboard. Audio is fine, same for game volume. A. Hey. It's like I'm actually learning how to do a stream. Oh, jeez. There we go. Hello, Matthias. How are you doing today? This is just the first game. You gotta move around, but not too much. Uh, and collect these little icons. I can give that another shot. I think that was alright. I think I did okay there. You see the background is different than usual. Oh, like my desktop? Well, that's because it's the Spring Jam desktop. As opposed to the Halloween Jam one. Because I can't be bothered to change my background like outside of these streams, so I just just set it to whatever the last jam was. Am I standing? No, I'm sitting down. That would be impressive, wouldn't it? Do a whole... Um... Jam. Sorry, not a whole stream, just standing up the entire time. Am I not in frame enough? Yeah, shift over a bit there. game does require quite a bit of attention, actually.
I, maybe I should have started with one where I could look at chat more. There we go. I'd like to beat my original score at least. I think I'm pretty close to it, right? I say. Uh, 2,800, that's, that's better than last time. I don't think I'm going to do better than that. Level 6, 2,800. If you've not been keeping up with the space, really glad you st- Aw, thank you, David. Yeah, I do um streams of every uh, Pi game jam to play all the games. I mean, I'm gonna play them anyway, so I might as well torture myself for uh, your amusement. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna beat 2800. I think that's a pretty good score, but I just know inevitably someone's gonna post about how they got to like 5000 on their first try or something, so it's like, why do I even bother? But yeah, that was a pretty, uh, pretty solid game. Definitely a good one to start out with. Start out, um, yeah, start out with. It was, who was it by, actually? I need to check. It's by Djorm. Here we go. But yeah, that was a great game to start out with. Um, I thought it had a nice incorporation of the theme and it manages managed to be pretty engaging but also not like over complicated which is nice because I don't want the first game to be something where um, I have to learn like a bunch of weird unique mechanics so yeah overall uh, well done and I see there are no there are no uh, recommendations in the chat currently so I'm just gonna play a uh, the next one, which is Boiling Point Boss Fix. I, I assume Boss Fix is just part of the original title. Uh, but yeah, if anyone has any recommendations, I think someone wanted me to play their game last so they could be awake for it. I, I need to look at who that was to make sure besides that you are fireman the world has been overrun by monsters blobs of pollution given sentience using your flamethrower you can boil away the water sustaining the monsters dive deep into the ocean and find out what's causing this but don't set fire to the monsters directly that would that would that wouldn't work i mean i guess I guess you don't want to create more pollution, do you? You wouldn't want to set... You wouldn't want to burn garbage. Alright, I'm liking the smooth movement. I'm liking the parallax on the background there. X and Y direction. Very nice. Uh, is this... I was talking about how you shouldn't burn the monsters, but it looks like you do. It looks like that's exactly what you do. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and the glow is a healing thing. That's nice. Do any, uh, Boiling Point aficionados want to give me tips here? 
I want to give me some useful strats for later on in the run. Can you go in the buildings? I guess not. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. Oh, it's also a checkpoint. Nice. Gotta say, I love a good jam game with a checkpoint. I guess it makes sense to wait until I'm fully temperature charged. Deza, hello. You love my shirt? Thank you, it was a Christmas gift. Just notice the text on the shirt, and the you find the cat cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it would be great if I had a bunch of like computer themed shirts that I could just I could bust out a new one every stream. Uh, unfortunately, this is pretty much the extent of it. Um, I can't get past this bit. You guys, you need to provide me with strats here. I mean, I can't be expected to figure this out on my own. Does anyone have a link to the the wiki? I need help here. I need assistance. There we go. I've got until the next stream to get new shirts. But yeah, um, the problem with that is that we're going to be hosting another jam like next week, right? And that was what was going on in the Forgers chat, right? Yeah? This is gonna be another one. Like we're gonna do we're doing um, monthly stream, monthly jams now. Um, I'm joking. Like, what am I supposed to do against these guys? No, I'm I'm joking. These are uh, we're not we're not doing monthly. Um, jams. I don't think that would be fun for anyone. I don't think that would be fun for the entrance, and I don't think it would be fun for the forgers. Maybe some people. Maybe some masochists. You will not take that as a joke. Look, if you'd like to set up your own jam and go through all the official channels. You just make all the announcements and you make all, you make the itch page and you set up all the lore and you moderate the entire thing by yourself. There's no help from anyone. Maybe. Maybe I'll let you do it. That's my uh those are my terms. Watch this. Ah oh. Okay, I'm going to give this one more shot, because it is quite fun, but then I'm going to have to bail on this one.
they just I just can't get their patterns down. I think I need to keep keep my distance and then Damn. Or should I say darn? I mean, this is a, this is a kid friendly uh, stream. Okay, well, I don't think. Look, I'll get all rush once more through. But I don't think I'm gonna make it through, which is a shame, because this is quite a good game. I really love the flamethrower effects and the parallax. That's, that's nice. Okay. Wipe out that guy. Wipe out that guy. Wipe out this guy. And it's over. You can run through the pollution, I think. Maybe I should have done that before. Take advantage of the velocity. See, these are the kind of pro strats that only uh, boiling point monsters like myself have access to and I've accidentally clicked outside the window. No, no, no! Oh, stupid! I clicked outside the window and it like locked my uh, keyboard. That's why I'm going in for another run, because I was so close. That was not my fault, okay? That last death, not my fault. My computer. You can't just heal up by being cool. Shame. I know. I'm so cool. Why isn't why is it helping? I always get so close, and these last few guys, they really just get me. Look at this guy, like, look how fast he's going. There we go. What did that take, like 20 minutes? We're fine. The stream is, the stream, stream is still on schedule. We're, we're doomed. We're not going to make it. Oh, and they got a water level. I almost missed out on that. This is where the gameplay really heats up. <laughs> no pun, no pun intended. See, now it's doable because you can you can just avoid them. You can just swim around them. I say, as I fail to uh, do that. You're cooling down faster in the water? I don't think I am, actually. I think it's the same. Maybe this is just a body of water that just happens to be at air temperature. It's extremely uncomfortable for everybody. There we go. Flame throwing underwater is insane. Yeah. You know, I actually, I wonder, I wonder, if you can, like, spontaneously generate heat underwater, how dangerous of a weapon is that? 
is it gonna dissipate like pretty quickly or is it just gonna be unavoidable because of you know the just being surrounded by fluid so you gotta you gotta bait them and run around in circles while your bubble thrower your scaldomatic recharges and then you gotta go in for the uh kill the water might just evaporate at some point I mean sure but if you're like in a lake or the ocean you're not it's not really gonna do anything if it like starts to evaporate underwater it's gonna immediately re-cool right like you'd have to heat the entire um the entire body of oh my goodness water up to boiling point is this clam Is it better? It's probably better to go for these guys first, isn't it? Oh no, he's spawning in two of them. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just better to go for the clam. Easy. See, the real villain was Mother Nature the whole time. That's the moral of the story. You need to come in and just just burn everything. That's the only way to save the world from pollution. That was great. Who was that by? See, before I had a list of who made all the games, but I definitely didn't forget to do that this time. That definitely didn't happen. Um, so I'm definitely not having to just look it up every time. It was U266426. That was great. I liked that. Um, I liked the gameplay. It was very smooth, especially the water section. The land section was a little frustrating if I was being nitpicky, but I still enjoyed it. Uh, I loved the parallax background. I liked the flamethrower effects and the physics, and I loved the boss. It was good. It was a good experience. I like the length too. I don't want games that are too long. I got I'm a busy man. I got a lot of games to get through, right? So I really enjoyed that. Anyway, uh on the topic of <laughs> setting animals on fire, let's play the next game. Let's play Cat on Fire. Oh, I think I saw this in the jam chat. Ooh, and it's big. It's a big window. Yeah, I saw this in the jam chat, but I didn't know what it was about. And I still don't, because I didn't read the read me like I should have, and I'm now going to do that. <laughs> I've ruined everything. I've ruined the stream with my ineptitude. Go to the right first, then to the left. No time to implement because something came up. Very good. Is this clam boss? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so I think this game is unfinished, which would explain why it doesn't have anything. As many games that are unfinished are. Apparently there was supposed to be a dash and like a power-up system included, but I can't find that. 
in the controls, so I'm gonna assume it never got implemented. Check this though. Ooh, check that though. Watch a master at work. Watch it. Watch a master at work. Watch it. <laughs> Why? You like the player animations? Yeah, they're good. Pro uh, tip for any aspiring jammers out there. If you animate a cape or cape-like structure, you do not have to animate legs. That is my, that is my nugget of wisdom I'm sharing with you today. You can just, you can just have a triangle. Also, is my keyboard too clackety and loud? Because I think I'm, I think I disabled the noise gate for this stream. Oh, hello, Robo Marcello. Everyone's joining now. Very good. This is like the third game. You haven't missed out on much in terms of pure content but they've been pretty good so far you can't hear the keyboard excellent I'm using a keyboard I mean allegedly but you can't prove anything Damn. okay well I managed to get to the end of that which I'm pretty proud of because I'm actually very bad at platformers so I think that's all the content there is so I'm gonna call it here right after I check to see if the color of each platform is randomly generated every time I load in which I'm not sure if it is okay it isn't they're all set they're all preset anyway you think I'm using a Neuralink to control the game actually I gotta admit it guys someone else is playing these games these is this is just pre-recorded I got my uh, Pi game intern to play all the games for me because I don't um, I don't lower myself to such peasant you know level work and I just I just talk over it that's why whenever I I mess up it's not me it's it's someone else that isn't me that's a really important thing to um, keep in mind here with this anyway I need to find out who made the game oh it was by Hinachi were they the one were they on the yeah they were on the discord cuz I yeah I saw that I saw them talking that's I was on about that earlier well and while I'm looking at that I need to actually see who wanted me to play late? Dance of the Spirits is the one that someone wanted me to play at the end so they could be awake for it. Anyway, uh, so unless anyone has any suggestions, I will be playing next game in alphabetical order which is this one that I will not be pronouncing except I guess I will have to try Kaisopoeia that's like every vowel multiple times let's check out the readme here beautiful that's a that's a URL okay I should have looked at the controls Ah, I can work it out. Hundred and fifteen megabyte game. Hundred and fifteen megabytes of pure quality. Most of that is just the title. Oh, did you make this game, McNeeps? That simplifies my inevitable awkward looking over at my second monitor to uh, 
and check who made it. Good luck figuring out what to do. Oh my god, is it actually like super complicated and I should have read the jam page. Look, I download these games in bulk. I don't I don't have the mental capacity to remember how they all work. One thing I do remember about this game uh, is that it was one of the ones where the all the files and the folders are just called like Pi Game Spring Jam Game, and that is not helpful. Do not do not name your game that in terms of like files. Name it the name of the game, and preferably, I mean, if you really want, also put your name in there. That would simplify my life. Just stay within the circle to, to earn XP. I love XP. Of course I'll stay within the circle. Uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Can you heal in this game? Man, I'm trying to stay within the circle, but the tap of my footsteps keeps attracting, attracting all the metal monsters. Damn, I died. But I'm still pretty productive, I think, you know? I don't think being dead has actually had much of an effect. Hmm. I'm gonna go for silver, I think. Hmm. Lead. That's my favorite element. Ooh. Quicksilver. Lead. Silver. There we go. Oh, that's good. Silver. Damn, I'm doing really well for a dead guy. See, now this is the kind of challenge I crave. Ooh, tin. I'm really hoping for some Americanium at some point. You can heal and XP take a bit of time to convert. I see. Don't worry, I figured the game out. I'm doing really well. Aw, yeah. Man, this is great. Afterlife Simulator. You know what? I think all games should just let you continue playing after you die with just an overlay to let you know that it's cheating. Oh man, I'm so good. Look how powerful I am. Oh man. I am become death. That explains the robe. Once again, uh... Like I said, just animate the cape. We don't even need directional sprites where we're going. It's quite logical to be able to do a thing after you died. True, it's not a bug, it's a feature. It can be both. But I am having fun. Oh, very good. Let's collect some gold. Ah, uh, very good. Just gotta, I don't wanna get hit too much, I mean. Gotta make sure to av avoid those enemies. We don't want anything bad to happen. Ah, that was good. Anyway, gotta make sure to, uh, all this gold in case I uh, get hit. Very good. Try not to respawn. Spent way too much time trying to do isometric rendering. Oh no. I think it's over. I think I broke it, finally. What? I think I've... I think I've broken it. I think, uh... I think, I think I've become too powerful. You can unlock the secret recursion error ending. I think I might be close. I think... I can't attack because the weapon is swinging too much.
Okay, I'm gonna play again for for real. Let's see how long I can actually last. The graphics look amazing. They do look good. I like I like the palette. I've never been good with um palettes for games. I sort of just use the paint.net one and it looks bad. So I love a game with a good consistent palette. Oh, that's not good. You can heal, right? Yeah, there was a thing to heal. I don't remember what it was, but... Let's go for that. Let's go for the health. Let's be smart about this. I mean, we know it's extremely grave. If you uh, lose your health in this game, I did not check to see what that was. to like lead the enemies somewhere else so I can actually level up. Come on flame. I've got I've got things to do. I've got a I got some problems to deal with. Okay, let's lead them all over here. Come on guys. Okay, now we just cut back through the middle. Or we don't. I really need that, uh... Could really use some leveling up around now-ish. Could really... Could really take advantage of, uh... Using this gold I've collected, you know, just, just an idea. Just a... Just hypothetical concept. Just it could be useful, you know, I'm just saying. Could really I can't even get into the flame. Oh my goodness. Hello, Toxic Raider. I'm just uh I'm just gaming. I'm just trying to just trying to get to the middle of the of the circle of the circle. Just gotta. I can't. I can't do it. I can't get to the mid. There's just too many enemies. Can I run through them? Maybe. Ugh. Look how fast I would have leveled up. Look at that. Look how well I would have done. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more go. You're a big curry man, you entered last jam. Oh, I think I remember you. What a uh, game did you make? You can take copper to have a bit more life and regen. Yeah. Oh, there's regen? That's nice. Let's go for... Quick silver. We really gotta get as much um, XP as possible here. Dodge. What is Dodge CD? Is that like a chance? This is a fun game. There are just too many enemies. Yeah, I think the problem with survivor type games is you really gotta try hard to balance the enemies. I will say, oh I for I don't know what that was. That um it, I haven't experienced any lag yet. Despite the number of enemies, so that's impressive. I 
It's over. Okay, it's officially over. Attack speed, I guess. Health. Oh, I don't know what that was. Is my- can you hear my mouse? My frantic mouse clicking. Ugh, I don't know what that was! Ugh. There needs to be like a... Delay or something. Why am I not? It's over. Have I played Slab Ferno yet? Not yet. That's Ghost's game, right? can't get my experience up. You can't like physically stay in the circle like long enough to actually get a single XP point, which makes it quite difficult, as you might be able to tell. You had a lot of ideas, but no time to implement them? Dude, don't worry. I've entered jams before. Okay, I think I think this is a lost cause. I don't think we're getting out of this one, guys. At least I can get a million gold. Okay. Yeah, right. Anyway. Okay, so that was that was a pretty good game. I liked the art. I liked the general smoothness and the general mechanics. I think it could have used some improved balancing. I think like a simple fix would be just to first of all limit the number of enemies. And then I think also make it so that the more gold you have, I think it's gold, the um, faster your like experience goes up when you're in when you're in the circle, because that way, you know, if I let's say I had like 400, like an insane amount, I could level up pretty quickly, even if I was just at like the edge of the circle, because otherwise it becomes impossible but yeah I mean I liked a lot of that I know I know you're saying in chat that you had a lot of ideas and you couldn't do them but um it's okay it happens to the best of us uh, anyway on to the next game and uh hold on big curry man is saying that Slabferno was their favorite. That's interesting. We'll get to that. We'll get to that kind of closer to the end, I guess. Um, but that's not surprising. Ghost makes some good stuff. Ooh, Dance of the Spirits. Not yet. Oh, um, Dolphino was the guy that wanted you to save his game for last. Oh, nice catch. Yeah, I just, I just saw that, and then I saw your message. But that would have been awkward. We'd have to, like, all lie and pretend that we didn't play it. Um, anyway. Main.py. Dave's Big Family Adventure. Let's go. That's a small, small game. Can you guys see that? Oh, script line's in the chat. Hi, script line. We've just started, um... Dave's Big Family Adventure. 
more like Dave's small family adventure, am I right? Because it's so tiny. I don't know how you play. Level one complete. Oh, okay, I'm I'm doing it. I think this is supposed to be a multiplayer game. Can you run? No. Oh man, I'm so good. You guys seeing how well I'm doing at uh, Dave's big family adventure? Look at this. Look how good I am. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, never mind. Man, I'm so good. Um, I forgot how to change characters. You played this one because your optician told you not to look at small objects for too long. Ooh. Hey, you should look at the viewer count for this uh, stream. <laughs> what on earth? I think I messed this up. But oh. Okay. Okay, it's a it's a puzzle. Okay. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Ooh. That is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a gamer. You think there's this game is supposed to be played in browser? Oh, I see. The problem with Oh, now it's two player. Is um. Oh my god, Dave's dead. Okay. Anyway, the problem I have with playing games in browser, like normally I love doing it, um, just you know casually. Like if you're gonna make a browser port for your game, that's great. But for um streams, I need to have them all downloaded. Dave's big family adventure. Never mind, actually. I'm really bad at Dave's big family adventure. Oh, it's all over. Never mind. You haven't been able to be active around here? That's okay, script line. It's, it's a busy time. I actually just got, like, a job offer. So... I'm not gonna be super active in the future. Okay, I need to actually think about this logically. I don't, I didn't think about this logically. Ooh, never mind. I guess it just doesn't matter. No, 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 Dave, why are you stuck? Oh, I'm getting congrats. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing just software development stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Dave, why won't you move? I hate Dave, and it's Stupid family. They're all worthless. Nope. There we go. Dave moment. Yo, this is just like Dave's anniversary. Can any old heads in the chat feel me on that one? Uh... Dave is going to die, and you know what? He deserves it. You you made that. I actually forgot. I'm sorry. But hey, it's stuck in my mind, so don't feel bad. No! Oh, 
Dave, you're so slow. I hate you. It's over. It's so Dave over. What will be my salary? Um, I don't feel comfortable sharing that with you. But it has seven digits. No. Uh, it's, it's a decent salary. It's, it's, you know, it, it's more than, enough, more than what I need, so I'm happy. If only playing Dave's Big Family Adventure could be my full-time job. Ah, well. I have messed this up. I do like the number of levels in this game, actually, I gotta say. Um, I'm a big fan of... Mm, I've messed this up. Games with um, a lot of unique levels. Even if I'm not very good at them. I think I'm gonna have to open the first door up, like, all the way. And then... Okay, no, actually. Is this actually doable? Oh, you have to do the, you have to do the third door first. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm a fool. Has anyone in chat beaten this game? I'm curious. I mean, it seems definitely doable. to skip out on the uh, currency on this one, guys. It's doable? I mean, yeah. But, oh, you, you've done it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair enough. You can just hear high games audio just die. I guess I don't get to go through the door. You did, Robo Marcello? Okay, well, now I have to. I can't be shown up like that in chat. No! I was so close. I was so close. You cheese this level? Oh. I mean, it's just a case of, um, of just knowing the timings, isn't it? I need to get the first door open. I need to get the first door open for the full extent. I don't know why I wait. I could probably get them all open to the full extent, right? Patience is key. Fair enough. But you gotta be careful, because when you're opening one, the other ones are, of course, uh, closing. Okay, that one's open. Go, 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 go. Ooh, it counts. Screw it. Easy. Simple as that. Definitely didn't spend too long on that one. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this one. But then I did it. The Jam Dave's anniversary was submitted to was almost two years ago. <laughs> Dave made it but got squashed by a metal gate in the process. Why are there so many? Ooh, okay. Not quite sure how to do this one. Oh, they, the time goes down a lot quicker once you put one of them in. I'm a fool. 
How has it been so long? I feel you, man. I I feel you. I was in like my first year of university when the server first like existed. That's a scary proposition. Simple as that. I can do this. I can't do this. My brain is my brain has stopped working. Like I know it's not a complicated game but you have to understand that I'm I'm in I'm in stream mode and also it's that thing I said earlier about the intern stream yeah baby oh hello Aiden indeed indeed see the problem with this is that it reveals my idiot nature like it's not a game, but I'm just constantly stressing out at all times. There we go. They're quite generous with the time, which I'm, I'm glad of. I say, although it's going to get pretty hectic in a sec. complete congratulations uh, good luck to anyone who wants to watch that on the VOD that's gonna be literally impossible with this resolution um, make sure to use the scaled flag and or at least have an option for it for uh, games like this but um mechanics wise I thought that was quite good I thought they managed to get quite a lot out of um, basically just the idea of multiple characters and weighing down switches I was quite impressed by that and the level variety and I thought the timing was quite fair actually except for that one level that I got stuck on for ages because I'm an idiot but besides that um, pretty impressive game who made this oh yeah and also it has nothing to do with temperature so I I will be rating it a zero in every category that's sorry kids that's just how it be this was by Wardini well done Wardini I will um, ignore the fact that it doesn't have anything to do with temperature. We'll just we'll just leave that aside for now. Anyway, next game. And does anyone has any suggestions? Next game is the worst. You helped make it. Oh no, it's the Dave's anniversary guy. Um, now, when I opened this game up to test whether it worked, I was very confused, so I'm going to be reading the page. Ooh, it's by Dirk and Deza. That's like a, that's, that's the scary combo right there. It's got mini games. Did you chat GPT generate this description? DFJK for notes. One to play the Sandworm minigame, two to play the Sandwalk minigame. What is DFJK? 
All right. Left, right, arrow to move sandworm. P to start music. I can make this work. <laughs> Diza is credited with the state machine, which I love. Well done, Diza. Great state machine. WXLY says, Hello, I'm not part of this game jam, but you did Rage of the Blind Witch. Oh, I remember that. That was the, um, like, MS Paint platformer with the shotgun, wasn't wasn't it? Or am I thinking of a different game? That was good, I like that. Anyway, I just gotta remember all the mechanics. P to start music. I think. Never mind. Let's do one, two, oh. This is fun. I'm a little sandworm guy. Those explosion effects are neat. How did you make how did you make those, Diza or Dirk? I forgot who was credited with with those. You know you put a lot of work when they put state machine in the credits? Exactly. It's gotta be the best darn state machine. Uh, this side of the state machine. So I haven't actually seen the is it still new? The newer newest Dune. I've been a tad busy and also lazy. Is it good? Is it so good that it inspired a Pi Game Spring Jam 2024 entry? And where is the, where is my music? I was I was promised that if I pressed P, it would be enabled. I'm basically lying to my uh, audience here. Oh, I only got 12 seconds. Uh, where is the little guy? Darn. Where is it? Oh well. Hold on. I can do this. It's not a game jam game if everything works. True that. I think the first time I managed to, like, make a game jam game that just had everything... I wanted it to have in it, like within reason, it was like my twelfth game jam. It blew my mind. I was like, whoa, this game has everything that I conceived it would have. It's literally a minimum viable product. It's amazing. Anyway, I can get these harvesters, man. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man, I'm so good at harvesting. Yeah, and you can quote that. You can put that on my tombstone. Unless I fail to find the last harvester again. Oh, no, there he is. Excellent. There's music in the second mini game. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, that's once uh once the state machine is decreed that I um have finished with this game, I'll play mini game two. Now with music. Oh, when they said notes, they meant rhythm. Why does he walk forward when I press the D key? What have I done? Hey, let's start the music. Oh, he walks forward because that's the because that's the control map. I'm stupid. Finally. Oh. A pie, a pie game jam rhythm game. It's everything I wanted, and also I'm really bad, and I forgot the controls. I just keep pressing the wrong key.
be pressing the key on the right for the one in the middle. Why do I keep pressing the wrong key? It's not fair. I'll be honest, I'm not the best at uh, rhythm games. I got nothing on this. No, I can't do this, I'm sorry. Gotta admit, the windows are quite generous. And also, I'm pretty sure you can just mash every key. For no consequence. That was very tense. I did not expect, <laughs> I did not expect the game to uh, have a little DDR mini game in it. I'll be honest. Even when I saw that notes were in the controls, I thought they meant like text notes. But uh, that was quite well implemented. I got to admit. I must look horrible on the replay doing that. I f I fear what I look like in that. Why he he's doing the sandwalk dance? Of course, the music is kind of fire though. Yeah, it was quite good. This track was made by fifty percent you and fifty percent Dirk. Who made the good part? Maya made this game. Am I being trolled, or was there like a third person working on the game? Oh yeah, rhythm game engine. Oh, okay. Oh, is that why is that why you had it? Cuz Maya had made the engine. Very good. I got a big big props. How hard was the state machine for the uh, DDR game? Anyway, that was an interesting little game. Um I assume it's like a sort of proof of concept for like a more full game because you know it's like mini games but what was implemented was quite good and also it's interesting to play a jam game that's like a uh, based on an existing property I don't think I've actually done that at least not for um pie game I did I did once play a boss baby jam game so you're not gonna be able to top that but overall that was quite a good experience thank you anyway next game flying chicken I think oh it's got an icon very nice you can control the hot air bal the hot air balloon by turning the axis on the bottom right of your screen, you will gain score by progressing through the infinite level and dodging the random objects that appear in your way. Collecting the coins that look like the image provided here will
will give you coins that can be used to buy upgrades from the upgrade store. That sounds like the kind of thing I'd hear at the beginning of like a test. Or like one of those great courses audiobooks. I guess this is the upgrade store. But we have no coins and we must get some. Okay, never mind. Don't hit those. I'm stupid. Controlling this thing is not as easy as I thought. I wish I could stay, but you have your daily stand-up in 10 minutes, and you have to make coffee. Oh, well, uh, have a good one, WXLY. Good luck on your stand-up. And also, good luck on your coffee. Good luck on both of those. Uh, how do I raise the temperature enough? Man, this axis is hard to move. Okay, I'm not very good at this game. Because you don't, you don't understand. You don't under understand how hard it is to rotate this axis. If only I knew someone called Axis. Maybe I could do it then. I look like a failure. Has anyone in chat played this game? I'm curious uh, to get opinions on it. I like the graphics. I like the palette. I like the little chicken in the corner. That's cute. Oh, that was that was not fair. What hitbox chicanery is this? Coins, do I? I have 12 coins. I'm never gonna do it. You found controlling the axis very hard? Finally. Someone who understands. Oh no. I think. I think this would be better if it had a smaller hitbox. get at least one upgrade. I feel like it wouldn't be fair to, to talk about this game without getting one at least. But I can't get the balloon to move up enough. I'm, I am trying my best here. I'm gonna get a strain injury. That's it. We're gonna die. I actually need to take a second to uh, get the blood flow in my wrist. So what did you guys think of the uh, games for this jam? Compared to the... Because the Halloween jam was quite a little while ago. What's everyone's thoughts? 
for those who were a part of, gosh darn it, uh, both jams. Better or worse, you think? I mean, I'm only like a third of the way through the game, so. Uh. Is there a way to... No, there's no way to change the sensitivity. Okay. I can't even get a coin, man. At least the coins uh, stick between runs. That's nice. You're supposed to kind of go more slowly since each increment like moves you a darn like a set amount. You think the um, jams theme is tough? I was kind of thinking that, but I actually think there are a lot of like ideas that you can do with temperature, like. You know, the amount of survival games or platformers you can do with temperature as a theme, it's like pretty high. You know? I mean, even just like a regular arcade shooter or survival game, you could just throw in temperature as like a mechanic. Okay, I think the strat for this is you actually want to there's actually kind of like a fixed speed that you can really go at um, you sort of just can't avoid the obstacles I think I think you just have to bite the bullet until you can get damn until you can get like upgrades I think you're supposed to rotate the axis kind of slowly Since I think it just detects like the rotation and not the speed of the rotation. Do I have enough coins yet? Wait, six? Oh, it doesn't save? Oh, I thought it saved. I thought it saved your coins between runs. Okay, well, we're out of it. There is no way we're getting 75 coins. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry too. Who am I sorry to? Who made flying chicken? Blade Star. I'm sorry, Blade Star. I like the look of your game. I like the funny chicken noises. Um, but I can't. I I cannot figure out how to play it properly. I'm sorry. I'm a failure to chickens everywhere. Anyway. Uh, next game. Wow, we've only done... We've only done six games. Wow, we need to actually... Oh no. We've been streaming for like 90 minutes. That's... That works out, actually. Okay. Anyway, next game. Garden Arena. Welcome to the garden. By day, the warm cl... <laughs> By day, I choke on my self, I guess. By day, the warm climate quickens the pace of its inhabitants, while the cool night air slows their movements. If your energy runs out, you lose. If your water runs out, you can't use abilities. Enemies will drop energy and water. Can you survive through day, night, and twilight, otherwise known as night two? I need to turn my monitor on before it breaks. Oh no. There we go. I have my webcam very precariously placed up against my monitor. Uh, okay. I 
need my energy. I need my water. I don't care how many life forms I gotta go through to get it. I'm liking the uh, gameplay of this one. This is like a fairly basic survival game, but it's pretty fun. My only complaint so far is that I have to just click to attack instead of um, being able to hold down the, uh, the left mouse button, which is a shame. I gotta use my abilities, man. What am I? What am I doing? I'm not being enough of a gamer. The bee is angry. Okay, I may be stupid, but I forgot the point of the energy. Anyone in chat want to give me a recap on that? Is that like health? Do I lose it over time? I know with water, I need it for my abilities, but I forgot what- I mean, I presume the sun is energy, right? Will I die if I don't get enough of it? I like this- I like the, uh, changing environments, that's pretty cool. Even if I am a slow little guy. Oh no no! Oh no! Wouldn't be a wouldn't be a jam stream without me randomly clicking off the game. That's just how it has to be. I gotta get my energy. <sighs> Darn. theme is only okay for, like, a health bar. That's true. Uh, no, actually, wait, no, that's false. I disagree, actually. I think the theme is good. I think you're all a bunch of whiny cowards. Even though I didn't enter the gym and therefore have nothing of value to add. The te I've, I've had some bad themes in my time. This is, like, a decent theme. You guys aren't creative enough or something. I don't know, you voted for it. Maybe I'm just so happy with the quality of the games that I just assume the theme was easy to work with. You know what I need? I need a macro for like next stream for these games. So I don't actually get like repetitive strain injury.
almost gone. There we go. Ah, oh, darn. Intense gaming. Don't use the scroll wheel. Oh, does the scroll wheel... <laughs> okay, never mind. Don't use the scroll wheel. Good thing I read that after I died. Ooh, high score. Nice. Okay, I'm going to give that one more go. I don't think my wrist could take much more than one more go. It's a shame. I like the gameplay. Um, <laughs> and I like the I like the cutesy characters, and I like the fact that I just died there. I don't like that. That's a lie. But I like everything else. It's just hot damn. This is a pain in the wrist. I like how the game isn't spawning the crows right in front of me, that's nice. Maybe if I just fire at one spot and just kind of move around. Maybe if I just constantly click outside of the window and do myself. Sorry for the uh, lack of insightful commentary at the moment, but all my en all my mental energy is going into the left mouse button at the moment. Crows, man, there's so many of them. Right, let's take some time to uh, clear up some grunt enemies for the mushroom spawns. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat that, and also it takes like 
eight minutes per attempt, so unfortunately, I, I will have to call it there, which is a shame. I'm a big fan of a testy one. But yeah, uh, that was Garden Arena. That was by, let me check. That was by Fenriz. That was quite good. I liked the art. I liked the music. I think someone said... Someone said they liked... Yeah, Mc, Yeah, I agree with you, McNeeps. I really like the fact that each level has its own... Um, sounds... Not soundscape. Its own music. Uh, I like the... Yeah, I like the art. I like the music. I like the mechanics in theory, but I felt like it was just way too reliant on spam. I think if you just made it so it just shot leaves on a cool down if you held the button down that would be a lot nicer and then maybe if you had like upgrades for your secondary weapon that would be nice and also if you made it so the scroll wheel didn't crash the game that would be nice. Yeah, I agree with you, Diza. I think survival games are kind of predicated on, um, like, leveling up a lot of the time. Anyway, we have a lot of games to get through, so next up we have Hexagod. Let's actually read the readme here. Ooh, HTML. Beautiful. Let's just open it in Notepad. Uh, LMB, place active tile. RMB, rotate active tile, F, hold active tile. Okay, I don't know. I should have paid more attention to this. Place active tile. Left click. Am I stupid? Oh, you have to go, Diza? See ya, man. Go to coordinates zero, zero, zero. Press C. Oh! Now, where was that? I didn't see that in the controls. Ah, uh, now it's all making sense. Oh, C. Center to world origin. Oh, it's a camera. Oh. Guys, you gotta include more than one color. Now I get it. Oh, this is quite good, actually. I should start rotating, shouldn't I? You can rotate tiles. I know, I know. I just forgot. And also just forgot again right there. Hmm. 
I don't know if this is a super exciting game to play on, on stream, but I have to admit, I am quite enthralled by the uh, simple little gameplay of it all. I think, like, actually, if you were trying to play optimally, there would be quite a lot of strategy to it. But I am not. I am just trying to connect stuff. You should read the readme again? Yeah, I should. The tile will go into shadow. What do you mean? I know those rules. I know you have to connect the colors. I'm just not very good at it. Not, not Aiden. You have to go. Ah well. It's good having you, man. Look, I know I'm not playing well. I know you have to try and connect as many sides as possible. I just am not good at it. And also, I don't want to spend the next like 30 minutes trying to optimally consider every move. I got like another 18 games to go, guys. G give me some give me some leeway here. And that's just something I missed on the uh, readme that you're referring to. When you're that bad, people question if you know the rules. Yeah. I admit, I am not good at, like, the vast, vast majority of games I do, um, on this stream. Which I'm sure drives people just completely off the wall. But look, I don't have the time and, and mental fortitude to get, like, really good at... 26 games. That's my excuse. But I do really like the concept though. This would, I think, would work really well as like a little mobile game. Perfect. Look at my island. Isn't it beautiful? I'll give it... Should I give it one more go? I do feel kind of bad. I'll give it one more go. Maybe I can do better. Better than 840. figure out what counts as shadow and what counts as like just a different color. you respect me at least. Getting a lot more of the solid color ones this time around. I've messed up this little yellow streak here.
barn. Maybe I can... No. It's all ruined. Ooh, perfect tile. There, see? I'm basically an expert at the game. Um, now I can never be criticized again, regardless of any future move I may make. I'm curious, what's everyone else's uh, high score with this game? Because I reckon if you like, really thought about each move you did, you could rack up some pretty good scores. I've closed myself off too much. My shapes are too sporadic. Your high score is 3,000. Goss got 7,000. I know I'm stupid, but oh my goodness. I can't even use the, the jam excuse. Sorry, the stream excuse for that one. I'm just, that's just amazing. Both of you. stream already went for two hours. Uh, were you so enthralled that you just you lost track of time? Or are you amazed that I'm still I'm still doing this uh, this garbage? I am bad at this game. Wow. You know I take it back. Quiver blatantly insulted me. Um, lost lost go. You were completely right. Uh, I'm just really bad. Why does the music keep cutting out? Is that because my cursor's off screen?
Beautiful. Look at that. It's kind of like the UK if you squint and blur it a bit. 990. Not quite a thousand, which is a shame. But ah well. Okay, that was by. Who was Hexagod by? That was by Zen. Ooh, very fitting. Okay, that was a game that was far too cleverly made to be played by me. I feel like I let the um, creator of that of that uh, down by being so bad at that game. But I'm glad other people were much better at that game. That makes me feel better and worse at the same time. Want to play the perfect drink now? Sure. I could really go for a drink, actually. Perfect drink was by. For some reason, the game is stuck in my mind because of the creator, but I can't remember. Oh no, actually, I don't know these people. Perfect drink was by um, Gabble and Law and Sir Lord Mike. Never mind, actually, I thought it was made by someone else. Anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll play that now. Oh! You, of course. That's why it's stuck in my head. Fool that I am. You never made a jam before? Ah, but have you made a jam game before? Nah, it's okay. I'll play it the um, 1000 pixel version. Unless you really, really want me to download the other version like you're desperate to see me download that because it's like a virus or something the main reason I downloaded the 1000 version is because this monitor is 1080 like vertically so if it was a square I didn't want to mess that up We'll see. Just for you, I'll download the second version. Why don't you just have an option in the menu? I guess I guess you ran out of time. Oh no, my my secret downloads. I can't let anyone know that I was a downloading. Uh, Perlin Noise Master dot zip. This is why I didn't want to download the fourteen hundred version. Wait. There we go. Just for you, Gabble. Exposed. Indeed. I'm more exposed than an ice Here on the uh, 1400 version. Strange. Downloads leaked. S stream is compromised. Shut it down. I forgot to read this text out. Your mission is to hop into your drink before you melt away completely. Fear not, young one. It's about timing and precision. You'll need to something something. I think my character is getting smaller.
cutscene. Wait. Oh, I missed it. I was too busy not looking at the screen. Oh, wait. There's more levels. Okay. Hold on, we're good. S to crouch. Somebody was really making this game and they were like, yo, you know what our ice, ice cube protagonist needs? Crouch button. Gotta crouch. Very important. I mean, what, we have one of the creators in the chat. Do they want to explain uh, how, the, how the crouching uh, works from like a lore perspective? Is the ice like melting? idea, I don't know. Fair enough, I guess. I like the shadows on the platforms. That's a cool... That's not something I see much in um, jam games. Hey, okay, now I can see the cutscene. Very good. You know, I know I'm gonna regret saying this, but so far, I'm doing Pretty well. I'm shut my mouth. say, despite my double jump confusion, this ice cube is cute as heck. I love it. It is going to die. Oh, never mind. It made it. You don't melt in the shadows, by the way. It would have been obvious if you listened to Grandpa Q. I didn't have time to listen to Grandpa Cube, okay? Anyway, it hasn't negatively impacted me yet until right now. Grandpa Cube had wanted me to listen to his stupid speeches. Should have been faster.
That's what I thought, honestly. Did you know this is only the fifth level of ten? Honestly, if you had seen my normal rate at which I complete jam platformers, this is incredibly quick. Like, I'm just having to reserve as many, like, hours as I can to get through whatever ghost has decided to subject me to this time. Damn, no! You small There we go. definitely play through that. I'll definitely, I'll definitely go out of my way to subject myself to, to a double jumping platformer jam game without checkpoints. I think that would, I think that'd be really good. Hey, there we go. What is this, like level 10, I think? No, not level 10. that bit. 
edge. There we go. Is my uh, mic quality still holding up, by the way? That was that was not fair. That was the game on me. But like I guess you could learn like every level for that. But you're not gonna get to the later levels very often. Eh, my double jumps, they're not registering. I think I'm doing it too late. But yeah, I mean you're not gonna have time to practice on this level. You have to restart the game every time. Why can't I double jump? What is happening? Can I not double jump if I'm too small? Is that it? If you are walking off a platform while jumping, your jump already counts as a double jump. What about that? My W key hasn't been broken for me mashing it for like the last uh, three hours.
hallway, I may have to call it. Why am I not dumping? Okay. I may have to call it before I get to the end. I'd like to get to the end. But, um... I have uh, many a game to get through. And for some reason, I can't... I can't jump. Why? the tearing, it seems pretty smooth. But, um... but I seem to be unable to jump sometimes. It was fine, um, the first six levels. in the air. I don't think I'm... I mean, I guess maybe while like, I frame. But I'm pretty sure... I'm like doing a normal jump. I guess there's a pretty small platform. Keep 
mess, they keep not being able to register my jumps there. Seems to be whiffing a lot of jumps. Oh, hey, gas. Yeah, we've had many a talk about the uh, registering of the jumps and how they seem to not be for me. Something, something. Uh, Bacon Invader is bad at games. You'll have to come up with something more creative this time around, I'm afraid. Uh, Idiot N has already exhausted all the normal stuff. some bad news for you. The chat is on like a 15 second delay. It ain't gonna work. Ah oh, well. That's yeah that I mean I gotta say that is a bit evil. But it is what it is. How many levels did I get through? This is level eight. So I well when you said level eight did you mean like level Seven level eight or like level eight level eight. You can change data if you want. No, I would never. I would never cheat. I um. I just have to. Uh, I mean, I might try it, like, um, in my own time. Once the uh, stream is over, like, just go through the last level. But I've spent a lot of time, and I gotta get through all these games. Stone wants... Sk Stone has just written the word skull. Bro, this isn't YouTube shorts, man. Uh, fine. Stone really wants me to hack in the last level. Uh, fine, I, I guess. Try that. I'll play it after the stream is over. I do often do that. Oh yeah, I'm kind of glad I never um I never got this legit. Oh, infamous troll troll cave. Infamous troll rock that just traps you in it. This one intentional? Oh, it's got me again. You know, I believe the first one is intentional. I think this time you just messed up. I'll be real. Escape is the pause menu. Can you restart from there? Oh, it just paused the music. It's fun. Man, I ain't never getting through this bit. That was intentional too. I, I don't believe you. Because you could get out of it if you really wanted to. to trap me in a uh, rock. There we go. You mean to tell me this one was intentional as well? I don't believe you, man. I don't know. But I'll, I'll do my best. You gotta melt a bit to fit. Yeah. It's 
not a troll. Fair enough. Aw, that's sleeping. Oh, dang. I guess I'll wait on the top. so convinced that I I should do it during the stream. You don't think I have enough time? Yeah, probably not. I'm not the best at platformers. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I might give it a go after the stream. But, uh, how long was it? did I spend on that? Like, 30 minutes? Yeah, that's quite a lot. Stone, I don't, you can, I don't know why you're so invested. I don't, what is at the end that's so important to you? Anyway, I might try it on my own, or at the very end of the stream if I have time. But we have a lot of games to get through, so I might have to uh, bail on that one. This is unusually diff difficult for bacon because they don't use ice in the drinks in the UK. I've heard a lot of British stereotypes. I've never heard that one. Where is that one from? They use ice in the drinks? Uh, anyway, well, if no one has any suggestions... We'll go for I hate temperature. It's true. <laughs> Such conviction. You almost convinced me, Gus, despite the fact that I've lived here for most of my life. What do you mean they don't put ice in the drinks? Which drinks? Which drinks do they not put ice in? Like tea? I sound American. I used to live in Canada. Your temperature controls everything! TLDR, go east. Fire raises your temperature. A freezing river lowers it quite a bit, actually. Collect wood for fires with E. Build fires with E. If you have wood, add wood to a fire with E. I think there's a road to the east. This is just a fact I've heard. There we go. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I guess you know better than I do. Who told you this? I have never heard that stereotype. And I've heard a lot. E. Is there a temperature bar? Or is it just like real life where you just die? I like the um, footprints in this game. Oh man, I forgot to give a summary of the perfect drink. I'll do that when I inevitably die in this game or I get lost. I mean, I liked I liked the music. I liked the uh, I actually thought the platforming was pretty smooth. I liked the ice cube. Um, I think probably the last levels could have been a bit less trolly, but besides that, it was pretty good. But I feel like I, I feel like I don't need to give a summary for that game because I kind of did throughout because I was just talking with the creator. I think it gets darker as it gets colder. Maybe. But you collect wood to like build the fire, right? But you can't move the. Oh, you can. Never mind. You can just make fire wherever. Ooh, it's got that nice foley. Love that. Gather around the campfire and let me tell you a story about the time that I learned that you don't put ice in the drinks in the UK. 
It's true. I heard it from someone once. I'm kind of glad it's getting um, warmer now, just like outside in general. Like I used to like the cold, but I got that um, I got that like hand condition where your hand just goes numb constantly. Um, Reynolds or whatever. So uh, not a fan anymore. Go inside the campfire for additional score, guys. Please, we already played a game like that. Walking simulator RN. True. Freezing to death simulator. Do you think there actually is a road to the east? Or do you think we're just being tricked? Has anyone beaten this game? Can someone confirm whether it's, it's legit? How east is this road? It's like at least five east, man. There's like so much east. There's so much east that the footprints are starting to shake from the... Oh my goodness. It's the road. That's what roads look like, I think. There can never be enough east. Guys, I think we might have found something that's a little bit too east. Um, but maybe they have like a stick we can borrow. Oh, never mind. I really thought that was the end, but I guess we're actually fine. I probably should have asked them for, like, some more sticks. What the shadow guy doing? I don't know. You know, I... Th Oops, I accidentally killed myself. I accidentally burnt myself to a crisp. I'll give it one more go. Can you run in this game? No. Oh my god, look. It's, it's You can see your own footprints. That's actually pretty interesting as a mechanic. I wonder if you can make like an interesting um, like survival puzzle little short game about where you can like see your own footprints and stuff. Maybe if you could set fire to your like dead bodies, then you could uh, be good at games. But yeah, I'll give this one one more attempt. I'll try not to just walk into the fire and die. I think that's really going to affect my uh, my gaming ability. But if I keep following these footprints, I'll get to my original fire, right? Right? Or does the fire just go out? Ooh, nice. Stick. Where are the where are the stalkers stalking you in the dark? Ah, well you see, you can't see them because it's so dark. See, so you don't know. Anyway, let's go grab another stick. Actually, let's make sure we're proper, nice and warm. Now we'll grab another stick. Perfect. This isn't the riveting gameplay you guys signed on for. I don't know what is. I wonder how they store the footprints. Like, is there just a big um, surface? in memory somewhere that just gets the footprints like blitted on 
Or is there like a list of footprints? They get like drawn. <gasps> Stick. Nice. Can you get multiple sticks? I don't want to risk it. Stick collecting simulator? Pretty much. And you guys said temperature didn't have any potential. We could have had stick collecting simulator. Why doesn't our intrepid protagonist. Ooh, look, a shadow. Why doesn't our intrepid protagonist bring a torch with them? I guess it would, would it go out, I suppose. It is stick. Yeah, I know, but like one that's on fire. So they could not burn to death. I mean, freeze to death. You, you know what I mean. Anyway, once I die, I think that'll be it for this game. Unless there really is a road to the east. Stickiest stick in the world. That's right. I just gotta stick with this stick, and I can stick it out to the end. God, it's the road, it's real. You all th oh. Oh, it's supposed to scare away the Lovecraftian horror. You all thought the road was fake. Go on, be honest. You all thought it wasn't gonna show up and this was a waste of time. But look, there it is. Enter nightmare mode? Playtime. Sub 10 minutes. That's a, probably a world record. Okay, I'm not gonna enter nightmare mode. Oh, there's like sound. Give up. Big mood. It's made of sticks and stick monsters. Bridges are often made of sticks, so I guess you're technically correct. Did we miss anything? Oh, we missed... We didn't miss the. That's good. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we were able to finish that game. That was like... I mean, for what it was, it was pretty basic. I like the idea of a sort of temperature survival journey game. That was kind of the thing I was thinking of when I was talking about... Uh, like, potential for the... A theme like some kind of survival journey esque game, but I think that needed like more mechanics and probably improved pacing to be enjoyable. But you know, I liked the concept at least, I liked the atmosphere as well. Have you played the game which uses your files as fuel? No, I have not, but I have heard of it. We're not even halfway through. Icy hot waters. Which one's the one that uses your files? Or maybe you shouldn't tell me. Development is paused during the ratings period of the jam. Oh, that's nice. You can just make a pre and post jam version. Anyway, uh, tutorial. Finally, this is what I mean by a tutorial. Don't you understand? It's as simple as that. I don't know what's going on either. Oh, 
I'm dead, boy. Can you sprint in this game? I'm gonna check the readme again. I don't know. <laughs> Has anyone played this game? Can they tell me? Okay, I think that's enough of, I th of the tutorial. I think we're experienced now. Aw, yeah. I'm so good. Build blocks? Maybe, actually. There is no sprint. Did you make this game? Oh, I forgot to check out who made, um... Who made I Hate Temperature. Who made that game? Gotta give a shout out. It was... Quarty. There you go. And this game was made by our very own Matthias. Very good. I think I may be stuck, though. I think I've messed this up. You can build with ice. Okay, alright, so we gotta, um... We gotta not do that. We gotta collect the water. Turn it into ice. Fall down this pit. Wow, it's just like the perfect drink. Fall down the pit. Make the ice blocks. Win the game. I presume I can use this to, uh... Turn this. Very good. Oh no. Perfect. And I've messed this up again. Excellent. Why is my man blue? What's, what's his deal? Okay, so we gotta... Get some ice. I'm gonna look up how to place ice because I am a fool. There is no information. Thank you, Matthias. All right, does anyone know how to how to build with ice? I need assistance here. With Z? You are you telling the truth? Click on the ice icon. Oh yeah. Very good. Okay. Where would be the best place? Okay, I guess I should get more of this first. Place with Alt F4. Okay, har har, very funny.
But can I only place it? in certain areas. Can I, can I not place it here? Oh, I can. Oh. I was really hoping it would have checkpointed me there. I'm gonna be here all day. And you have to watch. It's going to be terrible for all of us. I turn every game into a walking simulator. That's because I'm so good, nothing could possibly be a threat. So it just becomes a walking simulator. Okay. Where are the blue key? That's a problem. How am I supposed to get the keys? I forgot you could teleport through those doors, to be honest. Where does this thing lead? Do I have to, like, jump off it? No, I just go up. Okay, very good. All right. I'm working out the secrets of this world. I'm a big Metroidvania fan. I have to, like, don't tell me I have to, um... do that again do I make more I okay I know I'm being stupid here but I don't want to um, spend more time than I have to because I got a lot of games to get through do I make more ice and then just go along there I guess I guess I have to can I go back through the uh, little music box thing no, okay, excellent. Okay, so go back, make the ice, get the purple key. Yeah, alright, I got it. So how's everyone else's uh, day going so far today? Someone ever entered a 3D game with ray casting or something? Uh, yeah, actually. There have been quite a few. Well, I mean, relatively speaking. Uh, Yvonne made one. I don't want to fall down. I really don't want to fall down. Made one like a horror game that had a lot of, um, sort of ray casting esque. It wasn't quite. It wasn't just ray casting because you could also. I, I, you could do like floors and ceilings. 
I don't know exactly what it was. It was like some pseudo 3D thing. I've played a, some ray casting games. Uh, none that were like really, really good. Um, I, for the summer jam, I believe it was, made a sort of LiDAR esque game that would like, it was, you know, basically ray tracing, but obviously not like with proper color and reflections and stuff. It was like LiDAR. That was like 3D. Yvonne's games are really impressive. Yeah, they are. Uh, that's like one of my favorite things about these jams. When you see someone who's like spent ages making some like super impressive engine, they can just like show it off with some crazy game. Um, can I not place this? What? I don't want to mess this up. I really don't want to mess this up. Um, I have seven of these. But I only have one shot to place it in the right place. I thought I had to place it across this gap, but I'm not actually sure. Does anyone know? I, I don't want to mess it up because I'll have to restart the whole thing. But yeah, people have um, made ray, ray, ray games before. I'd like to make a game for one of these jams with like um, BSP, like Doom style um, rendering, but I think that's quite difficult to do. Also, I don't have like an engine, so that might complicate things. Where do I place this pesky ice? When I fall down, move left. Okay. Or is it like as I'm falling down, move left? Ah, okay, it's over. It's over. I knew it would happen. Oh well. So I like the premise for that game a lot. I like the whole puzzle aspect of it. Um, my main issue is that I can't complete it because it takes a very, very long time to do it. That's my problem. I think, um... I mean, I, I, I said, like, oh, put, like, a sprint in or something, but with the whole, um, uh, turbine powering thing, it might make sense to add, like, a fast forward button or something, because, obviously, I don't want to go through, like, five minutes of gameplay just to get to, like, the point I was at, but, ah, well, uh, but I like the concept, and I thought things that were implemented were implemented very well. So, uh, well done, Matthias, or Matthias, however I'm pronouncing it today. Anyway, next game is Melting. Is this the one that burns all your files? Maybe. Let's find out. Also, let's find out if people can see the full screen. Yes, they can. Very good. Oh, my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Did you ever just start a game and it's just, you're a snowman and it's, it's judgment day and there's just fire raining down from the sky. Sometimes it just, it just be like that. And you all said there were no good possible theme, possible ideas from the temperature theme. Look at this. You could have been playing as a snowman dodging fireballs. And you didn't think of that. Oops. P 
particles go crazy on this one. Yeah. Look, is it, if it is if it is blah, 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 is it a real pie game game if you don't have particles that just go everywhere, including in front of the UI? Like, what are you even doing at that point? Same there's no like score. I mean, I think the perfect drink fits the theme good. It does. I'm just messing. Uh, I thought it was a good, good concept. There are like a lot of games that you can do with temperature. I'll stand by that. Like I, maybe it is because I didn't enter the jam, but I don't know. I think there's a lot of games that you can do. You could do like a Frostpunk-esque game, like s s management sim. I don't know how you can make it better. It's good. It's it's it was a good game, man. Don't get so defensive. I liked it. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, let's check. There's nothing. Ooh, fun. Is that tiled? Uh, okay, so that was melting. That was by. Who was that by? That was by Carbon32. I mean, that was like a pretty simplistic game. I like the particles. Uh, definitely could use some, like, polish. I guess you could have uh, more effects for the fire. You could have um, maybe some, like, the ability to, like, jump or maybe platforms that melted over time. You could do all sorts. But uh, for what it was, it was, it was a nice little fun game. Does that mark the halfway point? How many more games do we have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we've done like exactly um thirteen. So yeah, I think that's the halfway point. Anyway, on to the next game. Unless anyone has any suggestions. Just miracle. Actually I don't think I can I could get this one to work. This is a batteries game, and I think I couldn't get it running. Yeah, I had a problem with the framework they made. Oh well. Does that has, has anyone played this game? And if they have. Could they tell me how to get it to work? Cause I um I got Python 3.12, I got Pygame CE 2.4.1, which I'm pretty sure is the latest. I got the latest version of the Bat framework, at least the latest one you can get off of PyPy for 3.12. Um, so I couldn't get it to work. So, I mean, I guess I can't play it. You also couldn't run it, Hansis? Alright, fair enough. I'll have to, um, message Battery at some point. I think with that last game I played of theirs, I also had to do some, like, weird stuff to get it running. Like, I had to get, I had to get, like, a version of the framework that wasn't, on Pi Pi, I can't remember. You couldn't get it to work? Ah, okay, fair enough. Damn, we were so close. We were so close to having a battery game that was finished and you could play. But we're, we're just, we're still not quite there. Maybe attempt four will go better. <laughs> ah, well. Oh my goodness. It's time for Slab Furno. This is the one that everyone's, everyone's been talking about in discussion. This is Ghost's game, if I believe. Ah, yes. Very good. By Ghost. This is a geometric puzzle game about pouring slabs of concrete and waiting for them to dry. Whoa. Finally, a Ghost game that's better than watching paint dry. The mechanics are explained in-game. Also, you're in hell. 
Big mood. Draw lines in the grid. Right click to erase lines. Escape to terminate a run early. Da -da -da. Made with Pi Game. I think it's a really good polished game. I'm sure it is. Welcome to hell. Your job is simple. Make slabs. A sequence of blueprints will appear to the left. Excellent. The left, where my webcam is. The place I can't see. already messed it up. Gosh, you in the chat? What, what have I messed up here? Click and drag to draw lines in the grid. The edges count as lines? That counts. Can you not draw them just along the center? That works. Oh, the edges are already... Oh, okay. slab Oh no, I messed this up. I slabbed too hard. Bouncing around, man. That's not right. What even is that? Is that two? I cannot work out that shape for the life of me. died completely. What is this? That's not it. Man, I sure I'm glad no one's watching me uh, mess this up right now. What is that? What is that shape? How do I draw that in this framework? Fair enough. He's slabbing now. Word. Okay, if I can just avoid that shape, whatever that was. Also that one. Also that shape is in town. Just make the shapes. How do I make this shape? Like, I... Is 
Is that it? Does that count? There we go. Okay. Okay, that's just a straight line. Okay, okay, never mind. We're good. I do so wish my spatial, temporal, my sp vision would work. There we go. Hey, finally. Surprised I'm not being bullied as hard as I usually am for this game. Like, I'm only being somewhat insulted. How do I even throw that shape? There are only 12 levels, a mere 12. What is that? If you lose, do you have to go back to the beginning? Because if you do, I'm sorry. That might, that might count. Oh right, I'm stupid. I'm a fool on this part. Unless I can just get the bottom bit. No, that's not it. Oh well. I hope I don't have to restart the whole game. That would be terrible. Oh, excellent. I have to restart the whole game. Excellent. Why must you people do this to me? I must say though, I mean I know I haven't been talking much, but that's just because the game has been really engaging. This is a very good game. Like, I mean, I got, you know, no notes. Well, I got notes. But, the reason I haven't been saying much is just because I've been very engrossed in this slabifying. Don't have to do the shapes in order. Fair enough. I do wish there was a way. I know it would be cheating, I guess. But to like see an example of how one could do the shape. At least for some shapes, because it kind of becomes 
hard to work it out. That doesn't count, I guess. Oh no, it's that shape. I still have literally no idea how you draw that. I'm sorry. This is going to get very stressful very quickly. I never realized slab making was such a stressful job. What are these slabs? What are they even for?
diabolical monuments and such. Of course, I should have guessed. Is that not it? Oh no, it's the way around. I don't think I can get past this level, I think this might be the end. I don't even, I can't even parse that shape, what even is that? No, I can't, the problem is I can't see the bottom of my screen, which makes it slightly difficult to do this. Ah, oh, well that's it. What did I, oh I could have done that bottom one. Oh well, I got fairly high, I think, level 8 of 12. Anyway, that was quite an intense game. I won't, I mean, maybe if people want me to play it at the end, I will, but of course there's like 12 more games to get through, so. But, um, did you miss anything? Uh, not really, idiot N. That was very good. I really liked the whole mechanic. I was very impressed by how well 
the polygon detection worked. No problems with that. I guess it would be nice if there was... I mean, I know it might take away from the point of the game. But if there was some kind of limited resource you could maybe use that would, like, draw an outline of what a shape could be. Because, like, on the, um slab -o itself because sometimes I would just see one and it'd be like well that's it like I it's rotating I can't actually figure out like what it looks like which I know is the point but still um, also slightly hindered by the bottom left of my screen being obscured but that's on me so fair enough you still want to see the end though but but didn't haven't you just done it yourself I mean, the reason I didn't get to the end of the game was because I didn't want to spoil it for you, idiot N. I mean, you gotta, you gotta experience it yourself, man. I mean, obviously I could get to the end if I wanted. Um, I mean, how do you know I didn't before the stream started? The, the point is, you need to experience it yourself. Just like um, with the perfect drink. That's why I didn't complete those games. Simple as that. But yeah, that was a good game. I can see why everyone was hyping it up. Well done, Ghost. I need to put um, another rule in to stop you from just winning every jam. It's, it's taking the fun out of everything. How, how dare you? You know, we had to implement a rule where you can't just win like every category just, just to stop you. Anyway, the next game, unless someone wants to suggest another one, is stay cool. Oh, we got volume sliders. Collect ice cubes to cool down your lemonade. Okay, very good. Oh, I can't see the ice cube on the side of my screen. Sure, the customer's lemonade at the stand. My lemonade is gonna burn. What even is lemonade? Like, is it just lemon, sugar, and water? Is there some extra ingredient besides that? If you have lemon, sugar, and water, can you make lemonade? Like 36 degree lemonade is very hot. <gasps> Stupid customers. Guys, how am I supposed to serve you lemonade when I'm going around collecting the, the big W blocks, okay? Have some patience. I'm selling these people lemonade that comes with the cup. And they, they get mad at me. Carbonated. Oh, does lemonade? I guess, yeah, I guess lemonade is carbonated. But you can have, like, still lemonade, right? Does it have to be carbonated? What did you type, idiot, in? I'll know. I can look at the logs. Still coke. It's true. 
But like... Wait, what is the ingredient in like, cola? What is the primary cola ingredient? I mean, I know it's like, you know, what a fructose syrup or whatever, but like, what is the, th the thing that makes cola, cola? Aw, oh, yeah, $39. That was worth it for like two minutes of work. I'll play once more, I think. I think I can beat $39. I'm really, really good. Nobody knows what co actually makes up cola. These are the interesting conversations we have to have. These are the kind of things that make make the stream worth it. And I've messed up, I've messed up my streak. It's all over. Damn it. You guys think I can make more than $39? I think I can. I think I'm in with a shot here. Imagine buying a drink for a dollar and then giving two dollars as a tip. Like, how amazing is the service? I messed up. Especially when all the dra a customers are angry because the drink is so hot. Exactly. The drink is powered by Blue W. Oh my god, you can get a $4 tip? Whoa. Someone paid $5 for a $1 drink. $80? That's double. Well, that's more than double what I made last time, so I think I'm satisfied with that. I don't think anyone can beat that. I think that's a world record. Um, who made that? That was decent. That was... That was... Han oh, that was Hanzus. Hanzus, are you still in the chat? I like that. You made two hundred and six dollars, Tomoos. You made two hundred and six. How? What's the strategy? This is something I don't get. What kind of tips were you getting? That's like 
It's insane. It's like two and a half times what I got. Okay, well, I guess I'm not good enough, Hanses. Sorry I can't beat $206 on lemonade, but whatever. Let's play Stay in the Norms. You just ran into you ran around as you had zero C lemonade. Oh Hi Hanses. See ya man. I see ya. As a fragile temperate cell, you must take care of cells with intense temperature which can threaten your life. Diverge too much from the perfect temperature. <sighs> and this will be the end of your petty existence. So make sure to avoid all these cells that keep swarming around you. Um, I didn't check the controls. There we go. So what's the ideal temperature? I guess I'll just stay in the middle, right? Are the rainbow cells good for me? Are they like balance cells? How do they work? Or are they always bad? You know, I think you might be able to get through this game just without moving. I think you might... No, you'll die. Okay. Damn. I thought I had a chance. Okay, let's try that again, but better. Er. Okay, so you're fine as long as you don't max out or min out your temperature. It's the only thing you need to worry about. I'm curious, what's everyone's high score on this game? Oh, oh gosh. Are the cells going slower than they were before? Am I f am I am I going crazy? So many, what on earth? I don't think it's physically uh, possible. 
damn. Robo Marcello says your high score is six thousand. You'd like to see me try to beat it. Oh, uh, and I got close as well. I'm gonna give it one more shot. So I guess you just get points based on you don't have to actually touch the cells to get points. So I guess it just makes sense to stay in the middle. And the rainbow cells always, l they always make you lose temperature, so I guess you just want to be kind of high temperature wise. No, they make you gain temperature as well. I guess the rainbow cells just do whatever you don't want them to do. It's getting quite intense actually. Oh, you're joking. Oh. So well. Okay, one more. If I was like literally 30 off. There's still like 10 more games to play. This might be like my longest stream, actually. Mainly because I'm going to spend the next three hours just trying to beat 6,000 for no reason. Does anyone else have a high score uh, on this game? They want to just peer pressure me into uh, trying to beat?
Get in. There we go. There we go. Easy. 6,100. Easy. And all I had to do was lose like 50% of my viewers as they just watched me motionless, silently moving a cell back and forth. Worth every second. I'm really sorry, everybody. Who made that? That was... Oh, that was Grimmies. Are they in the chat? No, they're not. I thought I saw them talking on the Discord earlier, but I guess they uh, didn't want to be part. Didn't want to be part of the stream. Anyway, that was um. At first, I was kind of like meh about it, but it actually turned out to be a pretty addictive game, since you kind of have to keep switching which dots you're trying to collect and avoid. I thought that was quite clever. Uh, I think with some music and maybe some power-ups that could be more interesting. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. I should play Flame Protector. The one that says Jam on it. Indeed. I shall play it. Uh-oh. Well, um... Uh, you know, I do have some files, actually. Here. Yeah, take this one. Oh, man, I got some fonts for you. Oh, no. Okay, font, go. Images, oh, yeah, take them all. I got every single generated image you can imagine. Go ahead. Take him. I'm not stressed. Who's stressed? You stressed? Oh, we want Moonlight Sonata? We're allowed to have that. Because it's, um, that's the jam rule you're allowed to have. Uh, you're allowed to have, uh, old music and images. I don't remember why we added that rule in, but we did. Oh, dude, do you want a whole folder? Yeah, take uh, tile sheets. Oh, I don't need these. Nope. Who's worried? Are you worried? I'm not worried. Oh, dude, we got all the games. We got the most bloated exports ever. Oh, just take uh, take all these. Here you go, man. Uh, take um, take some levels, huh? Oh, take all those. Yeah, just take them all. Source, take it. Main, don't eat it. Oh, we got so many games to throw. I mean, they're all very bad. Much worse than, than this game. You can have it, man. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, best score 83. Check this. Five. That yeah, wasn't very good. Wait, you can just throw in individual files as well. I guess you can throw in a folder and everything in it separately. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, folders are flammable. Why does the fire get more... Dang. Get more... Red the worse condition it's in. I guess blue flames are really hot. Okay. <whistles> Why don't these games have more graphics? Why are these so small? I need bigger games, people. I, this is what I need. I need all those Piscal files. Oh, damn. Don't just stand there. Start loading your own games in. I gotta get rid of all this garbage. 
ASAP. Just gotta... I wonder if I can throw in combinations to cheat. this one. Don't need this one. Ah, oh, darn. Throw your Windows folder in there. 100%. This is absolutely the most spyware game. It is just it is reading every single one of those files. Who actually made this? I'm curious. This is like one where I'm like actually genuinely. Who made Flame Protector? Python ZZY. I remember you. You're always entering these jams. That's a very clever little game. I mean, it's not like super contentful, but it's it's pretty funny. I like the idea. Uh, I wonder if it actually does do anything with your files besides just add them to the um, the byte count. That's quite good. But you wanted me to throw my System 32 in there, didn't you? I see you all. You're all out to get me. A higher temperature emits light with a shorter wavelength. That's true, but I mean, come on. Oops. Anyway, uh, I think we got pretty much all we could out of that game. I don't want to start throwing in my like personal secret photos on stream so uh, I think we'll move on before anything gets too hot next game is survive the elements win I assume that's windows but I'm just I like to think it's just cheering me on does this game show up on screen Yes, it does. I I have to restart because I didn't read the thing. I'm gonna look at the replay on the stream. Walk with WASD. Fight with space and interact by walking over stuff. Keep your stats high and your temperature in a safe range. The forest is on fire. Find some emergency beacon and get rescued by surviving for eight minutes. Press any button to continue. Oh God. Why is every single tree on fire? Every single one. This is actually horrific. This is like a creepypasta. I need that beacon, man. What the? That is a burning human being. Can I could take it in a fight. It's probably not worth it. Oh my God. So horrific, you can see it's corpse. Oh. Okay, everything's fine actually. Never mind. Let's go kill some more rabbits. Good times. I wonder if you can punch a tree. It's like Minecraft up in here. Oh, excellent. The frost demon approaches. If 
I hang around this fire guy, I'll be safe from the, uh, elements. So do you really just need to wait like eight minutes to survive this game? Has anyone beaten this game? Oh my goodness. I don't get the point of murdering the rabbits. I mean, I'm happy to do senseless murder for no reason. But if there is a reason, I'd like to know what it is. How many minutes do we have left? Someone, can someone check? Chat. What's the, uh, what's the run time on this game so far? I mean, there's the beacon, right? Eight minutes. I think you're about halfway. Oh man. What? If you click, the game just closes down. What? That is not fun. And as it crashed, I just happened to be clicking at the wrong time. Uh. I think you can speed run it. I think I may need to skip over this game. But why did it crash when I clicked? You remote control exited it, Robot Marcello? Look, man, I'm already paying you as my Pi Game intern to play all these games. I prefer if you took your job seriously. You're supposed to play these games on stream while I comment over them and make me look good. And you already messed up at that ice drink game, that slab making game. So you're on thin ice, mister, no pun intended. I like to look at the corpses of the rabbits. So is there like a food? Does anyone know this game, how it works? Is there a food like meter? Is there a reason I'm bashing up rabbits to death and just shoving their raw corpses in my mouth? I think 
like it wanted to implement it, but they didn't have time. Fair enough, I guess. In that case... Maybe I should... I don't want to risk it, that's the problem. I don't want to risk it in case there is... A food thing. But... I guess I can just run around in circles. So, did, uh... Anyone do anything interesting today? How's, how's everyone's day been? note happened to anyone? Anyone pull off any daring feats? Any traumatic experiences you'd like to vent in chat? You spilled water on your keyboard before the stream. That's terrible, man. Uh, I guess you happen to just like speech to text your, your way to me, aren't you? Get it all sorted out. Is it all is it all hunky dory now, Robo Marcello? Works fine now. That's good. Still live? I sure. <laughs> I ain't feeling like it, Andre, but, uh, yes I am. I'm trying to wait eight minutes to see if this game will win itself. Can someone time timestamp this for me, please? Can someone timestamp time me to see where we are? We've got to be at eight minutes by now. I mean, I know eight minutes is a long time when you're waiting for it, but... How long has the stream actually gone on for? Three hours and 56 minutes. Wow, that is a long... Four hours ish. Wow. How long of that is this game? Because I, I don't want to click in case the game crashes again. I need to beat it. You don't understand. I need to keep beating up rabbits until we get to the eight minutes. You've been watching four hours? Aw, oh, I'm so glad you just spent your time watching me, idiot. And it means the most. I'm I'm very thankful to anyone who's uh I mean I'm thankful to anyone who's just watching. Uh but I'm especially thankful to someone who's been watching for four hours. You can do a lot in four hours, alright? You could like I don't know, run a marathon or something. Re you could you could read a good amount of a book. You could uh you could probably clean two major rooms in your house to like a very high degree imagine the timer is broken and you just wait for the rest of your life i think it might be can, can someone actually check please i'm begging you it's gotta be eight minutes at this point right See, I want to, like, exit the game and be like, oh, it doesn't work. What if I exit it and someone's like, oh, you went on for 7 minutes and 36 seconds. And I'm just like, that's it. I have to do it again. Okay, someone has to release me from this purgatory and just tell me how long it's been. It's got to be it being 8 minutes, right? 8 minutes isn't that long. I've done some pretty stressful things for 8 minutes and they didn't feel as long as this. Like two minutes. 
Mood. Big Mood. I'm like, I gradually go insane on stream. Like, I'm, I just gradually start counting and like going mad. And then at the end, I finally quit and I look at the time and it's like, yeah, you were on for like one minute and 50 seconds. One minute left, you think? Okay. I'm gonna wait until the stream time hits like four minute, four hours and one minute. We're just, um, we're just hanging out like good friends do. Um, we're waiting for that guy. Oh. <gasps> I'm the only person to have ever beaten this game. was worth it. This tune, this screen, worth every second. That's epic plain art. You know, it is pretty good plain art. I like it. Anyway, I, how do I exit the game? Well, that was an experience. Well done, everybody. We really survived the elements win together on that one. Anyway, we have one two, three, four, five, six games left. We're in like the, the final stretch. Um, we haven't played um, Dance of the Elements yet actually either. Seven. Anyway, let's play uh, Temperature RNG, or as I like to call it, Game for Game Jam. Featuring click on the Game Jam zip, then click r View Raw. And it will download a zip file, then extract that, and you will have the source after that. Run the file named main.py. And my favorite part about this is there is no main.py. There is a main script.py. Can you leave thermal assault for the end? I gotta go for a lesson. Uh, I'll try. Because I got Dance of the Elements as well so I guess I'll just check when those are the only two games left if any of you are in chat anyway I don't know how this game works your luckiest roll ton 618 accretion disk 26.15848789915705 percent you got a 0.017 percent good luck oh yeah I got I got, um, I got, uh, guys, I don't know how this game works. Just press on hot, look, <laughs> I don't know what hot convert does. Balmy. My luckiest roll, 100%. That's the highest roll, right? Hot convert. Someone had a great time with the, um, random function in Python, and I'm glad. I'm glad they had that. Are you just trying to get the lowest number? Like, possible? And hot convert just, like, resets it? You thought Garden Defense was a, a game about clicking? Well, I got that game about clicking for you. This is what gambling is all about. Alright. Let's, let's get real click here. I have to adjust my mouse. You guys having fun? Can you hear that? That's that's the sound of gameplay. <laughs> Ninety-nine per percent of gamblers win just before they hit it big. That's so true. Ninety-nine percent of gamblers 
um, pointing finger runs out of energy just before they get the 0 0.017 luck. Let me just, just move over here. I'm going to actually die. This game is a workout, I'll tell you that much. Who says you can't lose weight sitting around playing video games? I've done some exercise today, I'll tell you that much. And this is more strenuous by far. Now, the government doesn't want you to know this. But I've worked out that um, you don't have to use the left mouse button. Or even the right mouse button. You can use any button. Which means... I'm, I'm rolling four times every time I roll because I'm a gamer you know that guy who had to leave for their lesson do you think they're like do you think they regret it do you think they're like at the instant I leave Bacon and Vader's gonna play the really cool game and they're gonna get back and they're gonna watch the VOD or something and they're gonna see me clicking on a clicking a button and giving myself tendonitis for like an hour can you guys hear this? can you guys hear the clicks? I wish there was a way to augment your luck somehow. What's all this clicking for? Well, you see, Ghost, uh, if you click enough, then you might get a good percentage roll. Um, and if you get a good percentage roll, then your your luckiest roll uh, text will update to something that's hot. Very hot. You know like those gacha games uh, people play or whatever they are? I think that's what these are, I think. Do you think if I just roll my mouse around on my leg, it will work? Hey, you know if you press, I found out a secret about this game. If you press a key, it'll say test one on the t console. That's kind of interesting, right? You having fun here? You know what they could add to this game? Like a thing that says how much of everything you've got. That's a good suggestion, I think. Right? Oops. Oh no, my secrets, I think. I'm actually, my fingers won't move much anymore. Okay, I think I actually everybody has left. So I'm going to wait one more minute. One minute and 12 seconds to round it out. And then I'm going to stop playing this game. What's your luckiest roll put your answer in the comments below make sure to like and subscribe to pie game community or we upload pretty much just this we will upload more things if we can be bothered to make them i miss weekly challenges don't you guys
We should bring him back. Someone should get on that. Pi Game Community is the only community where you can play multiple games that give you serious tandem problems and the same stream. And that's what I love about you guys. If you roll 0.03, you bring challenges back. Deal. I think we're done. Well, okay, we couldn't get below 0 0.05219502182006832. percent So that's pretty good, I think. Uh, I think that's luckier than most people have bothered to get to. I I kind of want to look at the like the table, but I feel like that's cheating. I feel like you should you should have to get it legit. Anyway, that was an experience. All my viewers have left, and I don't blame them at all. Anyway, we're going to play The Lost Flame, because someone wanted us to not play Thermal Assault. But I forgot who it was. It was Amethyst. Okay, good. Since random function is deterministic, can you just predict when you get a lower number? Uh, in theory, I suppose. Uh, I guess it depends on how it's getting the source of the randomness. Um, because what if it was, like, getting the seed from, like, an API call or something? The Lost Flame is good. I'm so glad you're still here, idiot N. It's almost enough to make me forgive you for constantly mocking me for no reason. Anyway, uh, tutorial left click to attack, hold shift to defend, defeat all enemies to move on. Ha. Huh. Die. I like the uh, effects on this. Attacking heats you up, defending cools you down. Don't go to the extremes, or you'll lose HP. Big mood. I do not see a lot. You know, why isn't the right click the defend blocking melee attacks will give iframes however at what cost dude I don't know this is your game the graphics are good they are good I'm dead. We didn't last very long, did we? Oh man. I played the tutorial, guys. I know how to video game. Come on.
I think this game would genuinely be significantly improved if it just had it so so uh right click was blocked. I don't know why shift is blocked. That just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Do I have to survive for as long as possible, or...? No, I did the boss, I think. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Oh, don't tell me I have to go through the tutorial again. Okay, yeah. No. I'm sorry. This seems like a very interesting game, but um, obviously I'm not a big fan of the tutorial. I'll go. I'll, I'll give it one more shot. Hopefully they can release like a um, post jam version of this that just has the tutorial like you can skip it. Who made this? This was made by... Doo -doo -doo. Oh by the way, uh, Temperature RNG, our, our favorite game, was made by Chaosities. I know I dunked on that game a lot, but there was a certain charm to it, I'll be honest. But um, as for The Lost Flame, that was made by... By that was made by somebody who I am trying to find on the jam page, which I can't for some reason. Oh, Sugoi Dekai. There you go. That was really good. I think I would have had a lot more fun with it if I could just have more attempts, and also if there was a way to block with right click instead of with shift I think that would be good I think but um I really appreciate what there was I really like that so well done anyway next game not thermal assault so spring machine war for winter xeno reactor and then if whoever it was I've forgotten is up because they said they had, they had to like get up early to get this stream well play Dance of the Elements. Otherwise we'll play Thermal Assault. Did I delete the... No, it's still here. Okay, I thought I deleted the source code. Oops. That's weird. Oops. Don't tell me I forgot to play this one. No such file or directory. Oh no. Source assets.
Okay, I guess I'll have to run it from... Did I delete the main file somehow? Matthias slept through icy hot waters. Anyway, you can click on the water buckets to fill up the places with spikes. Not all of them, but like the holes and swim over. Oh! Yeah, uh, I see. Yeah, sorry I was, um, I kind of quit in your game. I did enjoy it. I liked the pulley system a lot, but it was, it was slow. And obviously this jam, this stream, sorry, has been running for like four hours. So, uh, but yeah, it was good. Are you going to make a post jam version? Did you make a post jam version? Oh God. This is not gonna go well. This is like the one game I didn't test before the, the stream started, and naturally it's the one that messes up. Anyway, I think this is a, just a normal platformer. I like the little guy you play as. Oh dear. I'm so confused. Why is this crashing? Cause like, like what, what's different between what I have and what they had to test? Okay, this is like the one game I didn't test. I swear I tested like every other game. Let me um see if I can get this to work. Oh, it's not not Aiden, dude. They were in the chat. Now I feel extra bad. Aiden, you gotta help me here. <laughs> I need your help from beyond this plane of mortal uh, communication. Oh, never mind. They're just in the chat. I can use normal mortal communication. Excellent. Yeah, there was no such bug when testing. What What were you using? On our machine, the game worked. Oh, you worked on this as well, Andre? Uh, you're... Uh, what version of Python did you, uh, use? Because I think I remember the RAND range used to work, um, with, am I, I might be misremembering RAND range working with, like, floats or something, and then it not working. You're using 3.11.4. This is, like, 3.12. It shouldn't be that different. Um, you know what, let's go in. Let's go in and have a little gander. What do we got? What do we have here? Um... I guess I could just get rid of this line. But I kinda wanna see it. Use notepad, please. Hold on, fine. I wonder if there's anything worse we could use. Oh yeah, that's good. You guys don't program like this? What's wrong? I, I actually, this is completely unworkable. Now we're programming. This really puts the pro in uh, programming. Oh yeah, that's, that's good. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, but it is kind of hard to see. I think if we change the font, it'll be better. What are you guys thinking? I'm thinking a nice... Ooh, Evil of Frankenstein. That's good. Let's get that on there. Oh, yeah. See, now it's, like, scary. 
Yeah, I'd like to remove formatting. We don't need it. Give it a go. Hi! <laughs> Game fixed. Since I never do anything for you people. Is the game like finished or was it kind of just like we couldn't implement much outside of like a basic platformer? Is there like an objective? supposed to be working but it's not because of whatever weird weird mismatch of versions we're reading. the best of platformers at the best of times. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this one. 
Well, I just lost all the trust of my uh, audience. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, to go near it, get near it, jump and press down. I did, man. I did. I tried. I tried the attack. It did not work. I, I'm. I'm being honest. Nah, man. It's not that our game is bad. It's that you have a skill issue. Have you considered that both of those possibilities could be true? I'm. So, no, I'm just messing. Um. I don't know how like much of it was lost in translation, I guess. I liked the um graphics and the music and I kind of liked the jumping momentum system, but it did feel kind of stiff and of course there were some bugs. But um I think if you like I'm not sure how much of what I experienced was intentional, which makes it hard to critique. I think if you, like, did some bug fixes and tested it on some other machines, I think you could definitely improve it, like, a lot, because what's there is quite interesting with the fire and the strange down attack. And I've, uh, and now Aiden hates me in the chat. That's okay, man. We all have our, um, we all have our streamers we hate. It's okay. Anyway, uh, the next game is War for Winter. So let's have a little gander. Who made this? Actually, let's check. War for Winter was... Mr. Green. Have they entered a jam before? I don't think so. Every wave, more flowers will attack. Every wave, snowmen become more weak. Every wave, you can build seven more snowmen. That's like a... That's like... I know it's not a haiku, but it's got like haiku energy. I'm a snowy boy. Sick em. Yeah. I'm so good at video games. I'm so good that I'm going to have to run that one in console. Uh. Oops. <laughs> you couldn't find the nervous emoji. <laughs> At least he didn't put a skull in there. Like, so many people find... Wait, how do I, uh... View the camera? Yeah, I'm pretty good at, uh, video games. How how could you tell? St stop putting the skull emoji in, alright? I knew that would happen, but don't. Okay. Don't you dare. This is like a classy stream, okay? This is education. I'm this is art. This is uh us learning about the complexities of game development. Look at those snowmen go, huh? I don't understand this game either. I think it's like one of those, um, you know, like the ones where they, you know, like, you your units and you move them from left to right automatically. I don't actually know what the genre is. I think the problem is that it doesn't work when there's only, like, one type of unit you can build. This is four and a half hours in. You wish you could have done something better. 
the stream is nice too. Aw, thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, big mood. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to do this. I enjoy these streams. They're fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy them. I don't think this is like my, my longest one. I think I've done I've done ones that are five hours. Are there like more waves? I'm confused. I've done um yeah I've done streams that last over five hours before. I don't know if I've ever done one that lasts six hours. But yeah, I appreciate everybody uh, who's uh sticking with it, or anyone who just showed up and then left like ten minutes later. You know I appreciate that as well. I'm not here to be like weird and picky but I think that we may have exhausted the potential of this game I think we may I don't think it's gonna get much more complex better prepare yourself my game is next and it will probably take you at least an hour oh shoot it's like a threat, man. Now I'm curious. He thinks he's almost done. Hasn't played Xeno Reactor. Oh, so not only is the creator like uh, talking all sorts of smack, but Ghost is joining in. Actually, I think you sent me a message saying like, "I don't care when you play Xeno Reactor, but it will take you at least ten thousand years to get through it, like an anime villain or something." Oh wow, what is this? This is like a roguelike. Okay. All right, I got this. You gotta shoot the. Gotta shoot the boxes. Oh man, I'm really good at these games. Scroll to swap. I'm scrolling. Do I not have the weapon yet? It says weapon minigun. Uh, am I stupid? Am I stupid? F5 to go full screen. Oh no. Look at that aspect ratio. That's not good. Oof. Oh my goodness. You can see my uh, thing. We're going to have to go off full screen. I don't want you people seeing. What has happened? It's all. You've moved all my tabs over. You've ruined my system. Xeno Reactor has ruined the stream. I hope you're all proud. No F5ing. Okay, let's do that proper. Answer me, uh, bleh, answer me, binary ninja. Why can I not swap weapons in the game? What is going on? Who's this guy? Who's this little fella? You only have the minigun unlocked. Ah, I see. You get shotgun in level 3. Finally, some lore. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Check that. Oof. It really is gonna take me like an hour to get through the game if I do it like this. I got into a level eight and then left and thought it would save. Fatal mistake. Okay. How many how many levels are in Xeno Reactor? Guys, I have to go to bed in like two hours. I know we were memeing about length, but all coolers destroyed. Next stage. Only twelve levels. Don't don't only twelve levels me. Are they long? It is fun though. I'll give you that. I like I like this sort of uh more tactical aspect of this game. 
He's cheesing it. I am not. This is a valid way of playing the game. All right. Don't don't you dare criticize my my gameplay. This is like an immersive sim, all right? Any any strategy you can think of is valid. Just to uh, make sure, there's no music in this uh, game, right? Like, there's not secretly a music option that I just did, don't have enabled, right? Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't level 3. This is level 2. Positioning yourself so they can't hit back is a valid strat. Thank you. Someone gets it. Oh, the crates give you stuff. That's cool. I should have destroyed more crates then. I need every advantage I'm gonna I can get to uh to beat the infamous Xeno reactor overload. I mean, even Ghost was uh, awestruck by its length. And also, I've only just realized you have limited ammo for the weapons. Whoops. You need to try this game. You notice Ghost playing it for an hour. Whoa. Ghost, is it really that good? Also, hey, Grimmies. I uh I played your game earlier. I forget which one it was, but I remember playing it. Okay, this is tough. Can the enemies hit each other for that true immersive ex sim experience? This occupied most of your video. It was good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I s I'm glad we saved it till not lost, but kind of lost. Mobile bomb. What on earth? You think if I destroy this cooler, it'll uh it'll destroy that ricochet tank? You went back to watch the moment I played your game. Aw, thank you. Did I get? Did I do it justice? Oh, I got those ricochet tanks are wild, man. I wonder if I can exploit them. Okay. I don't even know how I'm gonna get. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to use my emergency cooling system. See, I know how this game works. I know about the the cool thing. Oh my god! Oh darn! I was doing so well. Wait, you have to restart at the beginning? Oh, you guys are joking. Guys, come on! Are you really gonna do this? Enemies cannot hate each other or break traits or TNT, but explosions, they cause break anything. Darn. It's a rogue-like? Is it really a rogue-like if the levels are not randomly generated? 
Or is it just a game where you have to restart when you die? You gotta not die. Of course. Like in real life. Jeez, guys. If I wanted to not die, I'd just, like, eat food in real life. Enemies and loot are random starting at <coughs> level 5. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make it that far. I'm a gamer. <laughs> you won't blame me if I don't finish. Fi th thank you, finally. Uh... Someone in the stream who isn't obsessive. But I'm going to do my best because this is quite fun. And also I have time to kill until other people wake up or finish their lesson or whatever. See, I'm going to position myself far away from the shotgun guy before I start shooting. Because that's, like, that's just how you're supposed to play the game. So are the crates random? How do they like work? Do you get random things from them? If an enemy blows up a crate, can I still get stuff from it? Enemies blowing up crates gives you loot. Okay, that's good. We gotta get the maximum loot, guys. This is gonna be a tough little game, alright? Oh, I didn't get all the crates. Gosh darn it. Okay, I gotta be strategic about this. Step one, destroy this door and kill this guy. We can just take him. There we go. Step two is... Kill that ricochet guy with just peeking, I guess, corner peeking him. Okay, there we go. Step three is preemptively blow up this TNT. There we go. Okay, step four is get out of range of the shotgun guy and then fire at them. That's probably enough. Grab that crate. Okay. Then do the same with this guy. Get real far away and f start firing. Off screen kills is also a valid strat. Thank you. Valid strats are my favorite kind. How did you know? 
Levels are designed to cancel the strats later on. Okay. That's gonna suck for me. Is there any way to upgrade damage? Oh shoot. This little... I gotta be careful about this guy. No damage upgrade. Why do I just keep getting shotguns? I need some good loot, man. I need some good loot to keep the viewers entertained. That is a fast little guy. Jeez. Um. Is there a point to destroying the crates if I like already have max ammunition for the weapons? Crates can always get you a permanent upgrade. Fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna get away as away as possible, I guess. Um, and. Wait, what if I destroy this TNT? Okay, that'll take. That'll do a lot of damage early. So I could probably take out the rocket guy. Because they don't have much health left, do they? How much energy do I have left? Uh like a, I guess I have a good amount oh shoot they got loads of health actually never mind um like I can keep going um if I have to oh shoot um I'm not getting like super tired although that might change later like why are you trying to are you trying to figure out whether it's worth sticking it out to the end I won't feel mad or whatever if you decide you'd rather not continue on for another hour or however long it's going to take. You are tired? Hey man, you're not the one streaming. You don't need to uh, force yourself. I mean, I'm going to play this game. I don't know how long I'll play it for. If there's like, like 12 levels and they'll take a while. Like, I feel like I could beat it. But, um... You know, obviously... We have things. There are, like, two more games after this... That need to be played, so... Right now, I'm mainly waiting for the people who... Whose, like, games... I'm, you know, I'm not playing. For, I'm waiting for them to come back so I can play their games while they're there. But, um, once one of them joins, like, I don't know how long I'll keep playing this. Not that it isn't fun, obviously. It's just, uh... You gotta... Oh, shoot. I only have so much time. Darn. At least you have regenerating, yeah, regenerating health in this game. That's good. 
You are emotional support. You sure are, idiot N. You sure are. But yeah, I'm mainly waiting for um, people to join. If I die again in this game, which will probably happen at some point, um, then I'll probably um, call it for this one, because obviously I would not have time to like restart. Does anyone know if there are any games other than, was it Thermal Assault and like, um, the other one whose name I've forgotten that are left to play. Don't forget to cool and you should not die. Yeah, it's really just like the mobile bomb guys that are kind of a pain. Dance of the Elements, yeah, that's it. Are those just the only two that are left? How are you still alive? Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh my goodness. Surprised that one didn't run after me. Okay, there are a lot of enemies in this level. I don't think I'll be able to get through this whole game, especially if the levels like are at this size. Um, I don't know how long I'll play. It's a fun game, definitely, but I just don't think I like literally have the time, especially when these guys refuse to die. They just get bigger. Yeah, uh, I may, I'll play like a, like one or two, I'll, I'll play like a little bit more, um, but we are at the five hour mark, which is quite a, a long amount of time. Shame there are no damage upgrades, I think those would have been valuable. Ah, well.
Dude, my hand is going numb from just resting on the keyboard. This is not good. I think my my just my organs are gonna start shutting down one by one. There we go. I wonder what's in the weapon box. I hope it is a rocket launcher. Damn. The rocket is the final weapon, you get it on level 10. Guys, something tells me we're not going to be able to get the rocket launcher this time around. Hey, we're officially paused 5 hours. Wow. I should do one of those, uh, like, charity streams where like it keeps going the more donations you get or whatever I wonder how long I've got actually lost just just playing pie game games redundant we're weapon we're weapon crates are in case you didn't pick up a weapon I see next jam I mean, I'd run out of games eventually. I guess I could just, like, play games from previous jams. Or people could, like, submit games. Maybe I could make, it could be, like, a month-long jam. Like, it lasts a really long time, so you can make a really good game. Allegedly. And then I'm gonna have to, like, play them for days at a time. You don't know if you could make a really good pie game game on your own? I'm sure you could. Uh. Oh shoot, I'm about to die. Thirteen coolers remain. What on earth?
That's it, we're gonna die. This is the end. Oh no. I'm still playing this game? Yep. Oh hey, you were the guy who uh, had a lesson, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just, I, um, I was just gonna play it until either you or the Dance of the Elements guy got on online. Because we are, we are at the five hour mark. You can see my face just like, lose all color. See, the problem is when I started the stream, it was, you know, like light out, and now it's getting dark. So my face is just being illuminated by the monitor, um, which is making things look, look very weird. Oh yeah, and uh, Idiot N is also here still. already dark how many coolers are left three where I think this will be it I think after this we're gonna move on to the next uh, game before idiot N actually just dies I'm doing it for their sake I don't know I don't know how long that'll last you don't have to kill all the enemies, I know, but you've uh, positioned them in places that make it awkward to avoid them. Can I put a vote in the chat? Start a poll. Hold on. Let's get some audience engagement up in here. Robo Marcello is having a bath. Excellent. Hyg yeah, hygiene is important. I'll wait for like a minute or whatever for the, for the poll to resolve. I mean, it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. And I think it can be fleshed out even further. But also... It's been like half an hour. Oh my goodness. What do the stats say? The stats say yes. Okay. Alright. We're gonna have to call it on this one. Okay, so that was Xeno Reactor by Binary Ninja, who has just been in the chat, so they need no introduction. That I think I already said, but that was um very fun, uh like sort of simple in concept, but obviously there's like a lot added on to it. Um, and it's definitely the kind of thing that anyone could like work their way through, which is nice. I'm sure someone is gonna have a lot of fun with that, getting through to the end of that. Um, but unfortunately, we only have so much time. As for feedback, I think maybe more permanent upgrades in the in the um, crates, I think, like for damage, or maybe some other kind of effect like, oh, increased regen or something like that, or temporary armor, just to make the upgrades you get, oh, sorry, the crates like more valuable. And I think maybe more weapons, or maybe you unlock the weapons faster. Because I, mean, I was playing for like half an hour, and I only got like three weapons. If anyone wants to see the full game, Goss has an excellent playthrough where he finds the secret level. Wow. Is that to do with the prototype? I wonder. I guess I'll never know, unless I watch Goss's video, which I probably will. Anyway, let's play a Thermal Assault. I actually didn't, I didn't check the readme for this. But you know, I think I figured it out. Wait, what does the switch do? Okay, I haven't figured it out at all. Um, I should have checked the readme on this.
let's quit actually and see what this game is about press Q to switch and also you can like do F and R as well that's cool and you can dodge with shift wow I'm glad I read the readme on this uh, to think I almost didn't Do I do extra damage against the uh, ice people if I use the fire weapon? Dodge is overpowered. Hey, can you run into enemies with dodge? That would be pretty overpowered. Oh, woe is me. I have all these pesky fire brats to deal with. If only I had some kind of ice-based weapon. That would help me out here. Very cool. Pun intended. You know what? I wish I could. I wish I knew how to close YouTube polls because that poll is annoying me with it still being up. This is it, guys. I think it's over. Well, I mean, it didn't say I lost. So you can't prove that I did. I'll give it another shot. Hold on. I'm looking at the, uh, like the replay of the stream, and my face is just white because of this monitor. It's this pesky... Spring Jam logo, I tells you. You know that, like, very important piece of health advice that you're not supposed to view, you know, light, you know, intense light, uh, especially, like, white or blue light hours before you go to bed? Yeah, we're violating that big time. I'm doing that just for you. I hope you're all... I hope my sacrifice is uh, worth it for you people. You can hold left click. Oh, that's interesting. Do you guys want to know a fun fact about um, thermal assault? 
the top five or so pixels of the screen are not filled in correctly. Look at that. How embarrassing. I sure hope someone got fired for that blunder. I shouldn't have switched. I don't know why I did. Such a game breaking detail. Might as well resign. Exactly. It's over, man. Hold on. Is my, um. Is my, like, night mode on desktop kicked in oh, oh no that's not good or is it does it still look fine on the um chat replay chat is the screen getting uh more beige and less blue i i got to know you can press R for a shield thing. Yeah, I saw about the shockwave. But um it's just hard to um like do it with all the other stuff. I like the grenades, I like to use those. Aiden has to go. See ya, Aiden. Uh, well done on on making it so far into the stream. Once I die in this, I'll probably um. I'll probably play uh, this the. You know the one, the spring one. You know what I mean. Because and that'll be the last game of the uh, shoot of the stream. Right as soon as I figure out how to close down this pole. There we go. Found out. Anyway, alright. So that was Thermal Assault. That was by Ameth Amethyst. Not Amethyst. That was pretty good. I liked uh, all the different options you had for weapons. Although I think maybe binding them to something that wasn't R and F, maybe? Like, maybe if you had a scroll wheel or something that let you switch between them, because then I could just use the mouse and WASD. Besides that, I really liked it. So, you know, sort of simple game, uh, but fairly well executed. But unfortunately, I will have to be taking away all my points because of the small issue with um, the top pixels. So you get zero points, sorry. I am glowing red. That's right, because my night mode has activated on my computer, um, and I've become corrupted by the slabby fires of hell. I will turn that off just for you people. It burns. Is Dance of the Elements the last game? I believe it is. I don't know of any other game. And then someone wants to check. Let me just make a quick run through. Way for Winter. We played Way for Winter, didn't we? War for Winter. Yeah, we played. That was a snowman game. The Lost Flame. Yep, played that. Hexagod. I feel bad for being so bad at that game. We didn't play Miracle Egg or whatever that game is because that didn't load. It's almost finished. It was a nice stream. Aw, oh, thank you. But it's not over yet. We still have Dance of the Spirits. You should be lucky that there aren't like people in the chat being like, Hey, you should finish X platformer game that you never finished. And then I have to spend another like 
six hours playing this one game while everyone like gets mad even though it's their idea that we're missing that we're missing that out now I don't know how to play this game but I'm sort of just trying to avoid the thing that's following me I assume this pesky blue uh, trail keeps following me how, I how inconvenient Get out of my face, man. I actually need to read the readme for this. Maybe I'm supposed to follow it or something. I don't like the way it follows me around. I do like the way it looks. That's particle. Maybe if I just hang here. No. Is it taking a screenshot of, like, the game no okay I feel like I've, I've messed something up whoa oh there is difficulty I'm gonna f figure out how this game operates because I'm a good gamer I'm a, I'm a good stream game showcaser man and I will showcase man this game um and I would feel bad for Dolphin Man, man, if I played it without understanding it. Oh, very good. We have lore. Bring that over here. After the bang, there were particles drifting through the void. They watched for millennia as galaxies, planets, moons, and stars formed in their wake. They danced together, sometimes in joy, sometimes in jest. Sometimes in love, sometimes in anger. If transformed into a game, the only constant in this world ever changing around them, the dancing water, the burning flame. Beautiful. I don't know how this game works. Hold on. Um, this is a game about avoidance and attack. You take damage when your point collides with a water particle. Oh, I see. Is pretty simple. I'm just stupid. It's a shame Dolphin Man could not be here because they had to, you know, be asleep or whatever. But it is what it is. This stupid thing on my trail. Hey! You need to kill blue and not die. Yeah. This thing is scary. Darn. It's so hard to avoid. Pesky little guy. What if I do this? What are you gonna do now, wise guy? Is it like mirroring me? Yeah, it is. My monitor is going to turn off if I do not press a button that I cannot reach on the back of it in like 30 seconds. There we go. Perfect. That's not math. You're right. It's love or something. I don't know the point of this game. But I want to win it. I gotta beat blue, you don't understand. These all these particle effects. They are quite good.
So when did uh, Ghost release their um, playthrough of the thing? I need to watch that, actually. I'm curious. I gotta watch a gamer in action. Easy, easy win. Guys, I'm really good at Dance of the Spirits. You don't even understand. Ignore that. Ignore that whole thing there. You're gonna send me a link if you find it. I mean, yeah, just post it on the um, just post it on the Discord server. Um. Like, don't, don't put it in YouTube chat, because I'm not going to, uh... Well, I mean, I guess you could for anyone who wants to watch this VOD and then afterwards watch... Ghosts. I mean, you're not, you can if you want, I guess. But I'm not going to sit through chat replay to find it. You released your video on Monday. Oh, wow, I'm late to the party. Look, I was out. I had to go... I had to go on a big old train and, uh visit a lot of people for fancy adult purposes. But yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll, it'll be nice, relaxing background ambiance to cram to. If I could just beat this stupid water guy. Hey, there we go. Change difficulty. Uh, I guess I can't. Weird. Well, that was nice. Except I'm not sure if this was via this was allowed. If this follows the music rules, this looks like an existing song. Ah well, whatever. Anyway, uh, that was Dance of the Spirits. Sorry, Dance of the Elements. Wait a minute. No, it is Dance of the Spirits. This is just wrong. Um, this is Dance of the Element, this is Dance of the Spirits, and you can't tell me I'm wrong, they got it wrong, alright, I'm right. Yeah, Dance of the Spirits by Dolphin Man, um, played last as per their request. And I think with that, that is everything. I'm trying to think, did we miss anything? I've missed things before. Can anyone think of any game we haven't done? You wanted to play more games, but you had a busy week, Gust. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I Yeah, I definitely enjoy playing these games a lot. I know you do as well. Um, yeah, I think, like, I'm not going to say every game in this jam was like the greatest game I've ever played or anything. But um there were definitely a lot of interesting games and there weren't really that many games that I thought were like really bad or anything. Um I mean if, for the, I mean if there were I was, I'm not going to name any names. But I think like the overall standard was pretty decent. Definitely more games than I was expecting for a spring jam because it's like a busy time. I guess with Easter you kind of have a bit of time, but I don't know. Usually I expect like Halloween jam to be the big, big jam. But we got like 26 games for this one. It's like a pretty significant amount. Did I play Thermal Assault? Uh, yes, that was the tower def- no, was, that, was, that was like the arena shooter where you could change mode. But thanks for checking. Dude, I'm so good at playing these games, I played the Perfect Drink 1000 and the Perfect Drink 1400. 
Simple as that. You hope you can join for Halloween Jam? Yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully I can throw one together. I wasn't super involved in this jam. It was mainly just me, like, going, hey, we need to do this. You guys need to do this bit of the jam now. Uh, but it was mostly just the other forgers. But I would like to organize Halloween Jam this year. That would be really good. I hope to see you there or anyone who's planning on entering that one I might enter even um, I'm not gonna win so don't worry but uh yeah I think that's everything unless anyone has anything they need me to do desperately I'm not gonna go through and beat a game that I haven't beaten um, yet I don't have time oh my the stream is still going not for long, script line. It's almost over. I'm just saying my final thoughts on everything. Mainly that they're all good games, and I liked them, and I liked to play them for you all. You just made your first Pi Game game like 14 days before, and then saw that there was a Pi Game Spring Jam, and I was like, yeah, let's try. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. I mean, it's it's hard to make a game outside of like jam constraints because you just you get you you know you s scope creep and you get other things you need to do time to beat xeno reactor and slab ferno you're right i mean we're only five and a half hours in we got another few hours to kill i don't need to sleep um but no uh for real uh that'll probably be it for me, I'm going to end the stream uh, in a sec. Thanks to everyone who showed up, uh, even if it was for a little bit, and especially if it was for most of the most of the stream or even all of the stream. I really appreciate everyone, uh, you know, stopping by and hanging out. It's always good to play everyone's games and to interact with the community. A big fan of everything that got produced. And I hope to speak with you guys on the Discord server and to see you again next jam. So uh, until then, I don't know any puns to, about spring to end the stream on. You should all uh, spring into the next jam when it happens. Huh? Yeah? I don't know.